Dodger fans from around the world, welcome to the Petros and Money Chevy Summer Tour. Petros and Money Virtual Chevy Summer Tour. Brought to you by Chevy. Find new roads. Here is Petros Papadakis and Matt Money Smith. It's time for Dodger Baseball. Greetings, Dodger fans and listeners. Welcome to the third PMF Virtual Chevy Summer Tour 2021. Go Dodgers! Live from the AM570 LA Sports Studios in Burbank, this is Petros and Money.
Get on to YouTube. T O O O O B. I'm going right now. No, that's the wrong YouTube. G U B E. And all you have to do is log on. PMS. Oh, there we are. Chevy Summer Tour. Woo! It comes right up if you're a listener generally. You don't have to look too hard. And we are happy to be here live on YouTube and Facebook. We have our windmill. We have all kinds of Dodger stuff. We have our sponsorship. And we still have our radio rituals to attend to. Much like Mass, it is a Frogman Friday. Christ is risen. Frogman. And as a man who's been surf shopping just this day, I'm sure Matt Smith can tell you That's the truth. that when you hear the sailors cry, Frogman. you smell the sea and feel the sky. Also on the Petrus and Money Show on a Frogman Friday, we Frogman. celebrate the greatness of a television show shot right Frogman. off the coast in Rancho Palos Verdes. A coast protected by people like Greg Crumb and his long arms and his sexy face. We love you, lifeguards. And we love Mike Nelson from Sea Hunt. Any combat unit is only as effective as its human components. Out of the 20 men that I'd started with, I wound up with only two who were capable of passing on to others the knowledge they'd acquired. Tomas Villegas. Age 26. University of Princeton. Wealthy family. Good diver, very quick to learn. But under that aristocratic poise ran a stubborn streak. Paul Ramirez, age 28, called Indio. Orphan since birth. High school education padded by a healthy curiosity and some years in the service. If you had to pick a word to characterize Indio, it would be happy. Happy. John McClain, everybody. What are you nuts? We got to get that stuff to Florida. We got to do this stuff for the people on the radio. You know what that's like these days? You know, Wacko? Why in here? You've got the freaking Navy everywhere. You got Frogmen. Frogmen? You got EC2s with the satellite tracking stuff. You got the freaking Bell 209 assault choppers up the ass. We are losing one out of every nine loads. No duck walk anymore. I tell you. Forget about money. What do you suggest that is reasonable? Listener submitted Sila. Welcome, bienvenidos to stop number three of the PMS Chevy Summer Tour. Watch it now on YouTube or Facebook and click and enter for a chance to win that brand new Chevy Silverado. AM570LASports.com, keyword Chevy. And we're brought to you by that beautiful Chevy Silverado. This will be the eighth Eighth. that we've given away (laughs) in a summer. We're also brought to you by the dense beard of justice, sweet James Bergener, 800 500 5200. He'll join us at the end of this hour. And Matt, make that the first call you make if you're in an accident. Gee darn it. That's right. 800 500 5200. Put that first on your list. Like Clemenza, he says. And also, Matt, what about the chef? I got my chef Merito socks on today. Look at this. Get a single of that. We are your official spice show of record. And Chef Merito is the official spice of the Petros and Money show. The official seasoning, whether you want steak seasoning, chicken seasoning, fish seasoning, you want to line that rim of your michelada, that is your go-to, Chef Merito. And you know what? They're local, born and raised, right there off the 405 at Roscoe Boulevard, Chef Merito with that beautiful sign. And Matt, thankfully, today we've added one of our favorite sponsors. It's always around during the PMS Chevy Summer Tour, Golden Road Brewing. Yes, and we have mentioned they got something special going on right now. Atwater Village, if you are making your way out to that Dodger game tonight, want to stop at the Atwater Village, Golden Road, they are doing a $10. You can see it here. Get on the YouTube or get on the Facebook and the AM570 LA Sports page. Remember, we are doing this virtual Chevy Summer Tour. Right with now, a video component live. right now. You can see the can. 
Here is your Dodgers you see the marks. Blonde Ale in the limited edition World Series can slash cup. He's holding up the cup right now for 10 bucks. You get the Blonde Ale and you get to take that cup home with you. It's that a great beautiful cup. pint glass. Uh, and it is glorious. At water, we've been to Golden Roads in Anaheim. We've been to the Golden Road here in LA slash Glendale area to do summer tour stops. We absolutely love having them as a partner and are damn excited because as I just held that can, that beer is cool. You can feel the chill. And a big thank you to Abby for the food and everybody down there at the Golden Road here right off the five. We love you and we can't wait to get back there and do a live show. So a big thank you to our sponsors. We are barreling towards Dodgers on Deck, hosted by Tim Cates. That's Dodgers versus Rangers tonight. tonight. Six o'clock is when the show starts. 7-10 is the first pitch. Kershaw is going tonight. That's why Matt is dressed from head to toe like Clayton Kershaw. Pride Night Kersh. Look at him. Yeah. Ronnie, Let's give me some go. music, baby. Can you give me a little bit of erasure? What can we do? Like 30 seconds? I try seconds? to discover a little something that makes me sweeter. Oh, baby, refrain from breaking my heart. I'm so in love with you. I'll be forever true. Here we go. A little something to make me sweeter. Oh, baby, refrain from breaking my heart. I'm so in love with you. I'll be forever true. That you give me no reason. You know you're making me work so hard. Oh, that you give me no, that you give me no, that you give me no soul. I hear you calling. Oh, baby, please give a little respect to me. Yeah, Pride Night. Yeah, thank you, Ronnie. All right, all right. Clap it up. Pride Night Show record, G, damn it. Clap it up, clap it up. All right, all right. Knock on wood if you're with me. All right, can we go to break him on a breath? No, no, no. What do you got? No, 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 no. No, no, no. They already rode Vic to hell. Yeah, they did. They really did. That's going to be a fabulous night at the stadium. It's going to be a fabulous, fabulous. Doesn't miss a beat. You're always there for us. Dodger flow, man. This is it. We can't Four wait. stop number three with the Dodger flavor. Are you kidding me? This is fantastic. It is. It's Dodger flavor and it's Pride Night flavor, Vic. Yeah, and we're look, we're not done. We got to sing uh, no. Small Town Boy. Damn right. There's, there's a lot of stuff that we're Damn right. we're still into. And so maybe a turn back time. I think we can get into that get too. Back. Turn back time. All right, well, we save it, save it, save it. Save it. All right, uh, we have all that going on. We want you to sign up to win the Chevy. Sweet James is coming on. Oral Hershiser is going to join us in the last no, hour. He's our hero. He, uh, he has been part of damn near every summer tour stop we have done in person. Ever. At the Golden Road, right there on the way to Dodger Stadium. Stopped by, hung out with us in grass skirts and coconut bras. So yeah. We love Oral. He's going to join us in the final hour. That was Pride Night before Pride Night. Indeed it was. <sighs> We've been Pride Night all day, all night before it was cool, man. To we put remember? that Twitter ring around your avatar. We've been doing this for days. We did the whole uh, K-gay, all gay, all day. Right? Exactly. You could never forget that. For a show. full hour. Yeah, it was awesome. Black lights, strobe lights. We're way ahead of the curve. Way ahead. Not even close. Not even close. All right, it is time. And we have Dodger tickets to give away throughout the day, Matt. Over 10 pair. Because when Dave Weiss says, I got like 10 pair, that means we can squeeze Dave Weiss for like an extra two, three oh, pair. Oh, yeah, that's like so, six more. Yeah, we're probably looking at like 12 to 15 pair of Dodger Turn tickets. Turn him upside down. Oh, and yeah. Him. There is only one way, though. To win those Dodger tickets. And we keep telling you. You got to watch. You got to watch. You got to go to YouTube.com, AM570 LA Sports, or Facebook.com, AM570 LA Sports. You'll see the live link immediately. And um, that's it. Watch. During the breaks, we give away those tickets. It's that easy. We'll probably give us some away on the air, too. Because we appreciate you folks listening on the iHeartRadio app and AM570 LA Sports. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Not today. All <laughs> right. Let's go, everybody. It is time for our intro. You know our boss, Don Scott Martin, the radio power in sports talk, Matt, in our lifetime, proclaimed last week's Ren Fair slash medieval slash Don Quixote confused celebration of the past. 
the not recent past. All that's left of the past. He proclaimed our last summer tour event the greatest event that we have ever done. And it's just Matt, me, Ronnie, Cates, Wacko, Matthew, Wacko, and the windmill. That's it. I mean, it's a skeleton crew. It really is. And we're going to get more into that right now, Matt. I'm glad you brought it up. But we still thank our great partners, the Los Angeles Dodgers. I can't think of any other sports team on no, yeah. earth no, 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 yeah. for a radio station to be partnered with. It could be more fun. No, yeah. Something that's more of an absolute no, yeah. reflection of our city. No, yeah. And we thank the Dodgers for the outfits. We got the mascot guy here today. We got jerseys. We got all the bobbleheads. I mean, we got a lot of cool stuff. Oh, yeah. And all this stuff, Matt, since we're celebrating the reopening of Dodger Stadium, the re-reopening. Right. Re-reopening, 55,000 reopening. I'll pack them in. Because you can't say it wasn't open in 2020. It was. They were playing. Right. But then they opened. They had the reopening. You've been part of a couple of those games. Yes. Well, it should have been a couple of games. It was really a game and a half, unfortunately. But now, 55,000 starting Tuesday. Pack it. A special place in our town. And that is our theme today. And Matt, with all this stuff in the room with us, and you know these hunks of plastic, what they mean to people at Dodger Stadium. These become different from hunks of plastic. It's like they cross the vestibule and become holy in the church of Dodger Stadium. At least that's how people react to them. And Matt, I got to be honest, I can't help but think how all of our old friends that visit us normally live at a Dodger Stadium would react to all of this swag. They'd lose their mind. Can you imagine, Matt? I mean, I got a Cody Bellinger MVP bobblehead right here. We put that on eBay, 200 bucks. We got the... uh, uh, Justin Turner. We got the Justin Turner throwing. Uh huh. We got oh, that's Oral Juan Kenobi for Star Wars one. night. Look at that. Max Muncy, go get it out of the ocean. Oh, that's a thing of beauty. The classics, and they're all here piled up, swag and jerseys and helmets and thunder sticks and bears. Can you imagine Matt the grabbing hands, grabbing all oh. they can? We we wouldn't stand a chance. All for themselves. After all. After all. I mean, Kate, could you imagine? I mean, it would be like a zombie movie. They'd be coming in through the doors. Look at all this crap. I need another drumstick. You guys can't touch this stuff. You know why? Building's closed. But Dodger Stadium is re-reopening, and this is a great example of all the stuff that is available. Right. On these nights. Dodgers.com slash promotions. We would need Dana Mundy to control that unruly crowd. And guess what? We wouldn't get him. He'd be doing a Gary and Shannon news and brews and like at a breakfast joint in Orange. I want to talk about that too. Stand by. Because I'm pissed. How do I we got, look like Alex Van Halen right now? Yeah, you look good. We got all kinds of cool stuff here and we're excited to see everybody back at the ravine. We got home games all weekend. Rangers, Rangers, Rangers. Then Philly, Philly, Philly. And then they go to face the horrible Diamondbacks. Yes. Horrible. I mean, they're bad. Bad. But as you Worst said, Matt, baseball. they are. And Philly is not. It is June 15th versus Philly. See you next Tuesday. Whoa. Does that's crossing the line. I don't like it. We'll see you next Tuesday at Dodger Stadium for the re reopening. Yeah. 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 Get blue on the Petros and Money Show. <laughs> and that is a Justin Turner bobblehead night. And that's uh, the Justin Turner bobblehead that we have right here, Matt, that we are featuring on yes. our table of, of cornucopia of swag. Where's my single? There it is. Look at that thing. That is it. We got it. You can get it. But you got to get over to Dodger Stadium as they pack 55000 in there. And, again, the promotional calendar is available at Dodgers.com slash promotion. So there is a lot to look forward to. That's a beauty. Even though baseball has been up and running for two and a half months. But now everyone that's in our town, 
can come see all the new stuff in center field, that new concourse area. And we did get to have a lot of fun with the mascot head that Dodger Marketing gave us. It's one of the mascots that walks around the concourse during pregame, and it's not easy to wear. It's really uncomfortable and cumbersome. It gives you a new appreciation. Cumbersome? She calls me Goliath and wears a David mask. That is a reference to the Seven Mary Three One Hit Wonder 90 song, Cumbersome. <laughs> Everybody needed that. That's I know, a good we, point. we always have Oh, yeah. Why, why is she wearing a David mask? <laughs> Uh, but uh, I, I am a little upset, Matt, because uh, before we were able to, like, debut all the stuff we did with the Dodger mascot head and have it on our show, guess who was putting it all over their Instagram and their Twitter and making a whole thing about it on KFI the last two days? For shame! Jumping our gun. For shame! Being a full Sooner. For shame! On our Dodger mascot head. For shame! Gary and Shannon. Indeed. There's no Dodger and mascot uh, head here. There you go. You hurt their feelings. You know that? Hurt my feelings. Exactly right. Without us, there's no mascot head here. You can't hold your water till next week. Guess what, guys? You got to fight. Sorry. You got to fight. Like, that's, that's the deal. Can you guys, like, do something original? Hey, fix it. When it comes to these sort of promotions? For shame. No, news and no. Come on, news and that's not like a summer tour thing at all. Okay. What? That's not the original. That's not the original. Well, they have a. We don't have a gas tank. We, we have, a have a gas tank. We have a windmill. Yes. So, that's what we got going on. A working windmill. Yeah. We support clean energy. They over there. Oh. They freaking pollute. Exactly. <laughs> David Attenborough gonna burn down your house. Just <laughs> farting all over the country. So I don't like that they... I love Gary and Shannon. You know that. But oh, yeah. Matt, I don't like that they stole a... Dream. You know what it's doing? It's driving me to drink. Yeah. Or you enjoy that. Anyway, they're running all around with our mascot head like they're uh, dragging uh, Hector's body around uh, Troy. I don't like it. I don't like it, Mike. Before our Dodgers-themed event, Matt... That was supposed to make its big debut here, right here, here, right now, here, right here. And now the virginity of our mascot has been plucked before the wedding. That fruit was ripe and we were going to be the ones to pick it. But the fruit was picked. Exactly right. And I don't like it. By Shannon. By Shannon. Well, yeah, we got cucked in a way. No, you know what it is? It's Dave Weiss. It's Dave's Did you bring it over there for them, Weiss? He's responsible. No, he didn't. Who he did? Was, he was that mascot's keeper. Who stole it? They came down the hall. And took it? Yeah. They did? Yep. Can we press charges? Well, I, I think, think so. Well, you know what? I think we're airing our grievances now. That was our mascot head bit. Not yours. Do the news. The country's in peril. We're the ones that grab the ass. We are the chicken effers around here. If there's, a, if there's a chicken to be effed, we're going to eff that chicken. Well, that chicken's going to get effed in the next segment. Because I can see it getting mounted right now. We were told we can't defile it. We can't physically abuse it. No, we're, we're not supposed to. It's supposed to be back at Dodger Stadium by 345. That's true. It's going to be late. But let's be honest, Matt. One of the coolest things about being an Angelino is being at Dodger Stadium with other Angelinos. That's the truth. Celebrating each other, our city, our differences, and the Azul. And it was so much fun. To stretch out, yeah, during the restrictions if you were at Dodger Stadium and you got to go this season. It's kind of cool to stretch it out. Sure. But the truth is... That the concourse is wide open now. Now, but the Verdon is that Dodger Stadium is for everyone. And everyone, as many folks as possible, should get to be there. Now, as far as we go and our show's travel restrictions, Matt... I think I can say with confidence, Cates, that we are going to be at Dodger Stadium on Tuesday for the re-reopening in center field. The new concourse area is requested by Stan Caston to, to celebrate the new concourse area live. Now, there is a simple problem with this that is obvious. When we used to do these shows for years, 
We had a whole promotions department that, well, they'd go set it up. Like, I don't know how to hold a boom. I don't know how to screw in all that stuff and make a stage. I don't know how to set up the, 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 the thing that says Chevy on the big screen, the Westing house. Well, we're going to have to learn. We don't have... We're going to have to learn. We fired the whole demotion, promotions department. Well, they... Don't I know that? I had to go grocery shopping for the hot dogs today. Well, that's not, not the first time even we had a promotions department. We never trusted them to do that's fair. menial tasks what like is that. What Who's going to go to Rick's now for us before the... Oh, uh, we don't have anybody. Out. Like, we are alone out there. Like... It's like Lot G days. We had a promotions department then. That's true, we did. But they like, were all getting high in the van out in the other parking lot. Well, that's what a promotions department does. But after, before and after they get high, they set up the stage. And I don't know. Like, what are we doing? Card table, Final Four, 1987, Radio Row. Like, is that what we're doing? Like, how are we going to handle this? Bring your own chair. Bring your own table. I can bring a chair. I'm not bringing a table. God willing, Bert will be there set up, ready to go. Is that right? Yeah. He's still, in? he's still alive, yeah. Who's going to let Bird in the building? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. No? Wait. Who's going to set up the stuff? Uh, you got two hands. Wait. Matt's got two hands. Wait. All right. But I don't know how to put that stuff together. Yeah, but my hands are moving because it's... Uh, uh, Spit. Turn it up. Pick it up, dude. I'm directing them in. All right. We'll be right back with some of your reaction. Make sure you're watching on Facebook and or YouTube. Of course, we're always on the iHeartRadio app. It is the PMS Chevy Summer Tour. <laughs> yes, everybody in the comment section. Stay face. Stay face will engineer that there must be Stay face. All caps with exclamation Who's going to get burnt steak? <laughs> We're not going to get steak. We're not going to have anything. From the AM570 LA Sports Studios in Burbank, this is Petros and Money. We're live, P. What? We are live. Oh, hey, everybody. Uh, we're back, and uh, we're giving stuff away. We have a bunch of Dodger tickets to give away. Matt is making his hot dogs. The hot dog maker is and, live. Uh, we are really pleased to be here with you on the PMS Chevy Summer Tour. We have our mascot guy yeah. that was stolen and bastardized and ruined by Gary and Shannon of KFI. They don't care. But uh, we have to get the mascot back to Dodger Stadium pretty soon. It's actually our promotions director in the mascot costume. Because we got rid of our promotions department when COVID started. So, uh, you know. That's a true story, bro. It is. But uh, <laughs> thanks, <Chief. laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, let's do PMS Dodger trivia to give away the what? Uh, let's give uh, to give away the tickets. We're giving away tickets, right? That's what we're giving yeah, away. Yeah, we got like, Dave, how many? 12 pair? 
12 pair? Yeah, 12 pair. All, All right. right. So we can do two pair now. So Dodger uh, Dodger trivia. CMS you, Dodger trivia. You give us a call at 866-987-2570. The number 866-987-2570. And the question is, what Dodger player did Matt get in a comp? The first, the first one's easy. They're going to get harder. It's like who wants to be a millionaire? Oh, uh, I like that. 50-50. Yeah, yeah. Which Dodger player... Did Matt Money Smith ask about the viability of hats in baseball on one of his first days in the big leagues? 866-987-2570. First two callers. Which Dodger player did Matt ask? About the hats. I'm doing the dogs. Matt's doing the dogs. Did, what did you get? Good dogs, or did you get? I got Oscar Mayer all beef. All right. They didn't have the. Uh, no, we can work the with The The Papa cans. Yeah, I was looking for them. They didn't have them. At well, the you know, it's a Dodger show. You hope for I Dodger know, I representation. Tried. I was like, hey, you got the Papa cans, and the guy looked at me like, what? <laughs> like, really? Right. So uh, we're gonna do a bridge segment, and then we're gonna talk to Sweet James uh, coming up next. We still have Oral Hershiser to come. Go on right now. am 570 lasportscom Keyword Chevy. And sign up to win the brand new Chevy. That's why we're doing this for you. So you can sign up to win the Chevy. Otherwise, you're screwing us over and yourself. Totally. But we appreciate you watching. And we appreciate our uh, television crew, the FM Wacko and Matthew. Wacko! Wacko! And those dogs are now warming. We got chopped onions. We got mustard. Oh, I was worried about the mustard. This time, we ask that you direct your attention to your screens for the starting lineup. The murderer's row of the show. Leading off. From San Pedro, California, number 420, the old P, Petros Papadakis. In the two-hole, the voice of the Bolts, your Los Angeles Chargers, number one, Matt Money Smith. And the kid out of John Burroughs High School in beautiful downtown Burbank. You might remember the all-CIF legend and hardest working man in radio, Tim, don't call me Timmy Cates. Stay tuned on YouTube or Facebook to the Petros and Money Chevy Summer Tour. And a big thank you to Golden Road Brewing. We love them. We've had great events there over the years, and we'll be back. Thank you for your sponsorship. Let's go Dodgers. Dodgers Rangers coming up. But stay with us on AM570 LA Sports PMS Chevy Summer Tour. This is Petros and Money. All right, Dodger fans. I'm here with LA legend Vic the Brick. Make some noise for Vic, you guys. Dodgers fans. I'm feeling you! Wayne Fort. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go! That's one, two. All right, Jocks at four. Here we go, keep it going, Vic. Six. Come on! Oh! Still to come, juggling, and Oral Hershiser. Catch every game on your home of the Dodgers. AM 570 LA Sports. Not all personal injury law firms are the same. Experience counts, results matter. If your case is important to you, call us now for a free consultation. It's still the night shift, just brighter. Still making an entrance, just turning more heads. Still packing up, just a little easier. The Chevy Silverado, making life's journey just better. You need to sign up to win this Chevy Silverado. Go to am570lasports.com, keyword Chevy. Chevrolet, find new roads. Now back to Petros Papadakis and Matt Money Smith.
only five foot three, but girls could not resist to stare. Petrus and Money Show is on. It's Pride Night at Dodger Stadium. Pride Night, Pride Night, Pride Night at Dodger Stadium. It's a dual Dodger disco Pride Night celebration from now until six. And most importantly, it's the third stop of the Petros and Money virtual Chevy Summer Tour. You can win a truck. And congratulations to Trevor from the 805 for just winning the tickets during the last segment. The key is to win, you have to be viewing, viewing the show on YouTube and or Facebook. And we give away stuff during the breaks and you call in and you have the correct answer and you win for PMS Dodger trivia. We are having a Dodger theme because not only is Kershaw pitching, not only is it Pride Night, but Tuesday Dodger Stadium is re reopening. That's right. Just like just like Stan Castany said, it's all opening up after June 15th, and he did not take that back. God bless him. The Dodgers are going full bore with everybody they can fit. On June 15th, God bless them, and we'll be celebrating along with them. We will be there. We made that announcement in the last segment. It will also be a Justin Turner bobblehead night, and we'll be out in that sweet center field concourse that they just Brand built. New. Yeah, everybody is awfully excited to see it. Now, granted, a handful of limited, as you said, it is a grand re-re-opening because the reopening, of course, was last year for the 60-game season. The re-reopening was the limited eleven to 15,000. So I guess it's the re-re-reopening. With 55,000 for Tuesday against the Phillies, we have all or at least many of the upcoming promotional items that you will get at Dodger Stadium here in the studio. If you want to see what that list looks like, go to Dodgers.com slash promotions or go to Dodgers.com like tonight is Pride Night. If you want to know what the theme nights are slash events for the event schedule, we got fireworks tonight. Oh, fireworks. Along with it being Pride Night. Every Friday, Matt. Fireworks every Friday. And a big thank you to our friends at Golden Road. Abby got us lunch today, able to enjoy that. The folks at Golden Road set us up with a bunch of the Dodgers Blonde Ale and the limited edition can. And if you go to the one in Atwater Village right now, I don't know if this is all Golden Roads or just Atwater Village. That's the one it says on our uh, little T-sheet here, but 10 bucks, And you get the Dodger Blonde along with, if you can see it here, I'm holding it up, limited edition Golden Road Dodgers World Champion Blonde Ale Pine Glass. 10 bucks. Right now is what they got going over there if you're headed over to the stadium. Sounds like a great value and a big thank you to Chevrolet, Sweet James, and Chef Barrito. The Clippers dropped another one last night. They will play the Utah Jazz tomorrow Oh no! in the semis. Game Utah. three will be at 5.30 Utah. on AM 1150, so don't miss out on that. And we have Oral Hershiser, who's going to join us in the final hour of this tour stop to really make it a Dodger theme thing. And we will get into some of the current events of baseball, not just the Dodgers sweep and the Dodgers looking a little better on this uh, road trip, but that sticky stuff that they're putting on the ball, Matt, not to be confused with your French's mustard that you brought here I'm for our awesome uh, hot dog making situation. I'm glad you brought that up because as I, as I am monitoring the comment section, a very friendly thus far for the most part comment section, you never know set the tone early. Um, we set a friendly tone with uh, with the erasure. With the erasure and the Pride Kershaw for Pride Night as he's getting the start tonight. I but... hope he dances. I hope he dances with with no abandon. Exactly. As he should. Get after it. Just dance, right? man. Just enjoy yourself out there. They're going to put on the Yaz. Get after it. Have a good time, man. Cut loose. No inhibition. But some folks in the comment section asking about the hot dog maker that made its appearance last year during one of our virtual summer tour stops. I believe our Dodger themed summer tour stop last year. It is here. It is just not on camera right now. But if you watch during the breaks, you would have seen the Coca-Cola themed purchased off Amazon.com for about $25. Hot dog steamer is loaded up. Matt is 10 dogs and Eight buns. Matt is the owner of a lot of uh, – Matt likes things. He likes nice things. He likes new things. He likes uh, – I like cheap and kitschy things as well. Yeah, but he likes expensive things and bougie things like the big green egg, but there's nothing that Matt owns. Not his nice surfboard, not his jacuzzi, nothing. Nothing. That he is more proud of than his hot dog, yeah, Steve. 25 bucks. Things amazing. The hot dogs are delicious. Those buns get steamed. You'd still have that Miata if it could steam hot dogs. You're darn right I would. <laughs> But alas, it's been converted into a 17-year-old's car. Uh, we have chopped onions 
finely chopped onions. Now, that onions. was a real, that you really went on the extra mile there. I did. Would you go to the Bristol Farms to pick those up? Uh, pavilions. So a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a high end, although Safeway Company, so the greater Safeway Corporation oh, of these of diced onions. Yeah, well. And uh, I did do, remember last year I made a grave error. I bought the generic yellow mustard. And when we all consumed the hot dogs, we all kind of looked at each other and we were like, eh, mustard's uh, not so great. You know, I don't know what you did there. Last year, mustard, Matt, but, Matt uh, brought the generic, generic mustard to save money. And it was bad. Let's be honest. You yeah, bought it to save it money. It was $1.79 instead of two thirty nine, And I bought the generic mustard and we all paid the price. The second thing that a lot of people are pointing out in the comments, yes, I have an extremely small head and the helmet that I'm wearing is the ice cream sundae helmet yeah, we from made Dodger it, Stadium. We made a joke about it earlier in the week yes. that we were going to get the little sundae helmet and put it on Matt's head. And it is on my head. And it fits. It's not a perfect fit. But it does fit. It's like it will sit on my head. Even if I take the headphones off, it still sits on my head. So I have a very small head. There's no doubt. Uh, I just want to read one Crooked Puzo text, if that's okay. It's about baseball bats. It says, if all of our Puzos are baseball bats and all are different sizes but similar shapes, does that mean that Kate's has one? Armed scissor with that jigsaw stick. <laughs> uh, glad you read that one. I thought I don't know why, and, and it, may, it it speaks to what a bad person I am. But when you started reading it, I was hopeful that someone was going to say, "Does that mean Gates is, is a chalet?" <laughs> I've held the shillelagh. The one between Notre Dame and USC, yeah. you know, that's our that's our uh, our trophy. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah, look at that. What does he just do in our ears? All right, guys, time to get out. Sweet James wait. Jeez. More tickets during the break. Get over to youtube.com or facebook.com and by some daily sports page. Live feed with some tickets. Through the magic of being from the AM570 LA Sports Studios in Burbank. This is Petros and Money. Well, a big thank you to those of you that are tuning in on the YouTube or the Facebook.com and the AM570 LA Sports feed. That's Please. how you win. Otherwise, yeah. what are you doing? Tell your friends. What's if you the point? We're tuned in last segment. The Dodger trivia question to win the Dodger tickets was, who was posed the question? Ah! Oh, she! Oh, no. Our windmill is broken. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. And the whole stick itself broke. Who did this? It was that the mascot. Bears. It was that dirty, thieving mascot. The question was, who was asked the question about whether or not hats should be optional for night games since there's no sun out? We did get two winners. Gavin Lux was the answer. We do have two more pair of tickets to give away right now to the Dodger game. The the opening, opening, re-re-reopening against the Phillies on Tuesday. You will get your tickets via email on Monday for those of you that win. So our second... Dodger trivia question at 866-987-2570. What iconic Dodger did I eat a burrito very quickly in front of two or three or four years ago? What was the name of that sponsor? That Rick Diamonds Jewelers. It was from Rick's, right? The the burrito. It was. I think it was Ford. I think it was a Ford. It was a specific Ford dealer that he kept. Oh, no, no, no. Edmonds. No, Edmonds. Edmonds. That's right. That's right. Don't give it away. What person did I swallow a burrito in front of? And I've never lived it down since. Now, guys, what you're going to want to do is get over to Edmonds.com. And when you get over there, you're going you're gonna to find your it's vehicle. YouTube? And you're gonna you're gonna find out what others are paying well, for that we have vehicle to have across win the, the country. Prize at eight six six nine eight seven two five seventy eight six six nine eight seven two five seventy win the prize. Now, Petros, what I want you to do is think about getting over to Edmonds.com, and what you're gonna do then is log on and find the vehicle that you're interested in. And once you do that, 
you're going to be able to see what others around the country are spending for that vehicle. What if somebody hits a home run? What is that? Hat? What happened? That trip around the diamond is presented by Daniels Jewelers. Daniels Jewelers making diamond dreams come true. And remember, go into your Daniels Jewelers and say, Dodger whammo. And you're going to get yourself. <laughs> what happens if somebody hits back-to-back, Chad? That trip around the diamond is brought to you by <laughs> Daniels Jewelers. Every trip around the diamond gets you a $50 gift card to your local Daniels Jewelers. Daniels Jewelers making diamond dreams come true for 50 years. And what if the unheard of happens? And it's back-to-back to back jacks that trip around the diamond is brought to you by <laughs> daniel's jewelers <laughs> chef marito the official seasoning of the petros and money show bring out the chef in you i mean chef marito ryan here executive chef at dodger stadium and one thing i love is watching all the fans go to the taqueria to get chef marito's carne asada nacho helmet and now i'm going to show you how to take it from dodger stadium to your home hey dodger fans we're going to make this fan favorite using chef marito's carne asada seasoning chef marito is a proud seasoning partner of the dodgers let's get started Preferably, you want to marinate the meat for 20 to 30 minutes to really enhance the flavors. I like to marinate mine overnight to just make it even that much better. So you just want to set your grill to medium heat. It helps you control your cooking and not overcook the meat. I love using Chef Merito's carne asada seasoning because the blend of garlic, paprika, and citrus give a rich and bold, authentic flavor. Let's go Dodgers! Dodgers Rangers coming up, but stay with us on AM570 LA Sports PMS. Chevy Summer 2. It's still the night shift, just brighter. Still making an entrance, just turning more heads. Still packing up, just a little easier. The Chevy Silverado, making life's journey just better. Not all personal injury law firms are the same. Experience counts, results matter. If your case is important to you, call us now for a free consultation. The secret tax that's a line. Sold out to Chevy. Hey, it's David Vasse. I know you're enjoying another summer tour with Petros and Money. We have your Dodger Insider Report coming up just around the corner. It's David Basset with your Dodger Insider Report. Corey Seager is getting closer to returning to the Dodgers starting lineup. He was on the last road trip with the team, fielding ground balls, taking one-handed swings off the tee. And Dave Roberts said he's getting close to swinging with both hands. Remember, he has a broken bone in his right hand, and the Dodgers and Seager dodged a huge bullet by not needing surgery. Seager could go out on a minor league rehab assignment as soon as two weeks from today. So keep your eye on Seager and don't sleep on Seager. Back to Petros and Money. Live from the AM570 LA Sports Studios in Burbank, this is Petros and Money.
we continue on the Petros and Money third stop of the Chevy Virtual Summer Tour. We're going until 6 o'clock, throwing it to Dodgers baseball, Morongo Casino Dodgers on deck. And a reminder, you have an opportunity to become a finalist to win that Chevy Silverado just by visiting AM570 LA Sports slash Chevy. Visual show and tell component time here as we're about to get into a conversation via Zoom. So get on over to that YouTube or Facebook. Click on the AM570 LA Sports page. You will get taken immediately to the live link. And, of course, that's how you win all of the instant prizes. All of the Dodger tickets are given away via the YouTube or Facebook video feeds. All you have to do is go to the AM570 LA Sports page as we continue on with our visual component of the third virtual Chevy Summer Tour stop. And it is one of our great sponsors, one of our greatest sponsors, if not the greatest sponsor, a huge part of what we've done for years. Here on the show, you see the marks, the dense beard. You see his celebration, perhaps envy of Matt's surfing lifestyle in the background. You see his, his batting practice, Dodger hat, or spring training special. It is Sweet James Bergener, 800 500 5200 If you've been in an accident, you can't trust that insurance company or some shady attorney with a billboard. There's only one Sweet James. And he is Petros and Money Show's greatest asset when it comes to law <laughs> and order and our understanding of the law as the law is ever changing. Is that correct, sweet James? That is correct, sir. You are correct. As now, you know, let's let's start with uh, something of relative importance uh, that's going on right now. You've uh, lived in a beach community for quite some time. Is that correct? That is correct. All right. And you understand the even though you're not a surfer, uh, you enjoy the water. And you understand uh, what comes along, the responsibilities that come along uh, with a citizen uh, that lives by the water, right? Correct. Now, in the world of traffic and laws and, you know, cops and people hitting each other uh, out in the streets and things like that, the beach cities, they take a little bit of a bigger bite than, say, the city of Orange or, or, or a place that's more inland, landlocked, so to speak. Can you explain that to us and Matt Money Smith, and then you guys can converse about Seal Beach? Why why the beach communities are more apt to ticket? Why they <clears throat> cost more? Why everything you know you you get you the get ends, a parking the, ticket in the beach community yeah. they gouge you. You get a fix it ticket yeah. in the beach community and they really give it to you. You know what I'm saying, sweet James? The answer is the answer is is easy because they can. They yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's it. It just they can. No, uh, we. I mean, that seems to have escaped uh, what normally is a very logical man, uh, Matt Money Smith, uh, of the Petros and Money Show. Those are the early Why? days. Why? Right, the here we go. <laughs> there's the, there's the setup, James, and I want double James for this advice. James over my right shoulder and James over my oh, right shoulder. Um, under my right shoulder. So I get a, I get a BS chicken ass ticket, James. Yeah. Because some crackhead stole my sticker. He doesn't know that oh. he's supposed to slice up his registration sticker. He, I guess he's I only know, lived here three years. I'm a kook. I didn't know I was supposed to cut the pieces. <laughs> Thankfully, uh, because of all the tips and, and the mocking of my very being, I was able to do that. Right. However, prior to slicing all my registration stickers up, someone stole it. I got a ticket, $64 ticket. That even though the meter maid went into their computer and saw that that registration was paid, and by the way, F you, California, and that's on video, so I could do that. Uh, yeah. For giving me a, a $450 reg for a freaking four door Ford sedan that they already knew was paid, but they gave me a $64 ticket for not having a sticker because the freaking thing was stolen. Now that's horse ass, right? Because I paid that reg just because the sticker's missing should not mean I got to pay them 64 bucks. I'll need to look at the, the code on that, but I think you might be right. I mean, if it's registered, obviously I don't want you taking your sticker and putting on somebody else's car, but if it was stolen, right, that's an intervening act. You can't, you so can't that, stop that. So, so then on top of that, the state, which already got 450 bucks from me for a four door Ford sedan, $450, they get another $26 or $23 from me to replace the sticker. 23 bucks. In addition, to the, in addition to the $60 fine. So then the $64 fine is waived as it becomes a okay. fix-it ticket. Okay, as it but should. they still want $10. <laughs> like, and he just won't cost. wear the 10 bucks. That's my thing. For what? Just wear it. You live at the beach. Wear it. 10, $10 
for yeah. what? In a Kimi Raikkonen way, for what? For what? It's uh, for for administrative uh, exactly hassles of dealing with dealing with your dealing with your uh, sticker. They got to pay the meter maid's uh, yeah. salary. Ten dollars, and they I'm the it. one that had to shell out twenty three bucks to replace my damn sticker. And I know yep. I'm partially responsible for not cutting it up, but that's a bunch of crap. That's a hot load of crap, James, and I want to fight it. Let's go. Civil action, civil uh, class action. Can we do it? Class action. How many people are going to be affected by this class? You and what? I mean, I know me. You got one. It all starts with one, one, James. (laughs) That's the class. You know what? Everybody watching this right now and everybody that's listened to this story for the last week as it has been repeated, they're all involved. Uh I think there's a class action that I have yeah. to be involved in Matt's bureaucratic uh, uh, misgivings yeah. and the tangled web that he's woven with his hometown. Why do yeah. I have to listen to this? A lot of people have weighed in, James. They're, we're getting the same stories. Yeah, not only did mine get stolen, I got they, the ticket. Then same I, story? Uh, Everybody's all Spider-Man just pointing at each other in this one. <laughs> <laughs> Is this Seal Beach, Matt? Seal Beach? I think it's I think it's a scourge of Southern California, at least in the listener uh, in the specifically yes. audience. Specifically, specifically yes. I thought you're gonna run for mayor. Why don't you just run for mayor and then fix it off on the top? They'd burn my house down. Come on, <laughs> no, money, let's do it. I, I would rule with such an iron fist that my house would be burned down. <laughs> no you know my personality. You charge a hundred dollars for missing tickets. You know the nine oh nine the nine oh nine checkpoint didn't start till Mayor Smith took over, and that was around twenty twenty three. Right. You know, back then, you know, nobody walked around with uh, the Seal Beach tattoo that said you could be here. It's uh, it's really weird. They built a curb right at the end of the six oh five, and you just, you just the freeway just Thank ends you. now. I know who would be your attorney general. The great sweet James Bergener, right, right. 800 500 the dense beard of justice, our favorite, and soon sweet James as we celebrate the Dodgers reopening up today. We will be out amongst the people again with our windmill and you and all the other, and hot dogs, uh, Papa Cantella, all the things yep. that we love. Thank you, sweet James. Thank you for doing what you guys are doing, keeping us all sane. Love you, boys. You're looking good in that Dodgers uniform. And you could look good at Dodger Stadium. We're continuing to give away tickets. All you got to do is log on to YouTube.com or Facebook.com. Click on the AM570 LA Sports page. As we go to break, we do giveaways. That could be you sandwiched between the meat in a James Bergen or Steve Garvey sandwich <laughs> in the Chevy Sweet James Suite. That's right. That could be you. So get on YouTube or Facebook right now as we're giving away more Dodger tickets in the break. It's AM570 LA Sports Facebook and YouTube page as we continue with our Petros and Money Chevy Summer Tour. That, that photo is the only good thing that happened from the AM570 LA Sports Studios in Burbank. This is Petros and Money. We're live. It is going to be the final appearance by our Dodger mascot as his presence is requested back at why? Dodger Stadium. Why is it? Why, why do we want to do or something? Do we need to do more? Well, yeah. I mean, no one else it's here. It's going to break the some kid's Media's... heart where they're like, you know, I saw the mascots except for that one. Why is that one missing? Why? What's indeed. going on? Why indeed? What is going on, Dodgers? So uh, we do have more to give away. We want to know about what you think of our summer tour thus far. So go ahead and make your comments on YouTube and or Facebook. We still have one more interview to come. Oral Hershiser is going to join us in our final hour. We have great sports talk between then and now. And we cannot wait for you guys to become a finalist for that brand new Chevy Silverado. So click on it and make sure that uh, you have signed up for the truck. Oral Hershiser is going to join us. Uh, I fixed it. It looks great. Yeah. While we were doing the uh, the virtual background, was able to get the virtual background going while I was working on that simultaneously. Yeah, give it a spin. Look at that. Very nice, Matt. Function, not fashion. Little, Little rough on the eyes, but hey, the windmill works once again. We have to do a Dodger trivia. Our two answers thus far have been Gavin Lux and Rick Monday. Those were the answers for the Dodger tickets thus far. But uh, we do need uh, we do need more. Can you name the lot that Matt and I were relegated to? The parking lot at Dodger Stadium 
that Matt and I were relegated to like, like hobos before they uh, let us, they opened the land. We crossed the river Jordan and they opened the land of milk and honey. They did. And we signed a Dodger deal, but Moses couldn't come in. Moses couldn't come in. (laughs) And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why he did too much cocaine in Chicago. Exactly right. What? Exactly right. It's exactly right. What? He called out Don Martin. That's what happened. I can't have that. Yeah. Moses. Couldn't, couldn't come in. He couldn't cross the river. Couldn't come in. Too much yak. But other than that, your we were able catch up to you. You know, look, maybe you lead your people to the promised land and you deliver them, but your past going to catch up with you sooner maybe or later. You act hard when you get water out of that stone. Right. God knows how you felt in your heart. He'll punish you for it. Oh, well, there was a lot hey, of drama early listen, in the days when we opened up with the Dodgers. That was Steve Dahl's promotion, not yours. But when the, Don't sell it as yours, okay? Steve Dahl's the one that made when, it happen. When the Golden Gates opened for us, Matt, what lot were we in? Oh, look, I'll be sitting in that guy's chair. In the There's our open, yeah. There's Coach. Let's put on a little poundage. I think he's just sitting weird. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. He's really stuck in that room. Look, his <laughs> arms are all flapping around. <laughs> That's where I'll be sitting in a minute. So, uh, caller, first two callers that can answer that question. 866-987-2570. What lot did we broadcast from before we were allowed inside? See a mascot guy. And so many people have wished me congratulations on a 67-year career in baseball, and they've wished me a wonderful retirement with my family. And now, all I can do is tell you what I wish for you. May God give you for every storm a rainbow, for every tear a smile, for every care a promise, and a blessing in each trial. For every problem life seems a faithful friend to share, for every sigh a sweet song and an answer for each prayer. You and I have been friends for a long time, but I know in my heart that I've always needed you more than you've ever needed me. And I'll miss our time together more than I can say. But you know what? There will be a new day and eventually a new year. And when the upcoming winter gives way to spring, rest assured, once again, it will be time for Dodger baseball. So this is Vin Scully wishing you a very pleasant good afternoon wherever you may be. Stay tuned. We'll be right back to the Petros and Money Chevy Summer Tour. So don't forget about it. You can find it on iTunes, Spotify, and of course, on the iHeartRadio app. It's time for Dodger Baseball. Is that it does not teach you how to deal with failure. Oh, yeah. Rocket Eye Petros and Money, AM570 LA Sports. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app, and more importantly today on the third stop of the Petros and Money Chevy Virtual Summer Tour, live everywhere around the globe, international style. We want you watching on YouTube and Facebook. That is where you can win, especially during the breaks. We've been giving away Dodger tickets. We have so much to offer. We're giving away six pair already. And here on our desk, we also have a lot of the bobbleheads and promotions and all the things to talk about. When Dodger Stadium reopens on June 15th for the Hemp Day, and uh, because it's Pride Night and because... 
Clayton Kershaw is pitching. We got Matt Money Smith, the voice of the Chargers, dressed up like tight uniform Kershaw, uh, who is pitching Pride tonight. Night. And uh, that outfit. we said we were going to get an ice cream thing for Matt's helmet, and we do. I'm wearing it. So uh, all that uh, can be seen on YouTube and or Facebook for stop number three of the Petros and Money virtual Chevy Summer Tour. YouTube and Facebook is where we want you to watch. You can also click there to win the Chevy and just fill it out there. Or you can do it on am570lasports.com keyword Chevy. And our sponsors are as follows. Chevrolet and the Chevy Silverado, the number one selling full-size pickup in California. And sweet James Bergener, who just joined us in the last uh, segment. If you've been injured, call Sweet James Accident Attorneys at 800-500-5200. And, Matt, that's not it. The Chef, you know, we're recycling a lot of our material from last year's virtual tour with the Chef. Yeah, we are the uh, seasoning show of record. Chef Merito is the official seasoning of the Petros and Money Show local. And we certainly appreciate them. Spices for any occasion, steak, chicken, fish, you name it, they got it. You want to line that rim of the glass for some micheladas, they'll do that. As well, Chef Merito, and also a big thank you, just came on Golden Road Brewing. We love Golden Road. We have done live in person summer tour stops at local Golden Roads, Anaheim, right here up the road from us on the 134, just off the 134 on the 5 freeway, and hopefully we'll be back at one of these many Golden Roads as they have given us some Dodgers Blondale, which I've been consuming in this uh, keepsake, the Golden Road Brewing. Dodgers just World 10 Champions bucks. Cost 10 bucks. $10 at the Golden Road, yeah. especially in Atwater Village, the new one. So get on down to the Golden Road Brewing. Get on down to Omeletteville. Matt's hot dogs are cooked and ready. Ready to consume. To go. Wacko, one of our camera people, uh, kind of our producer, I would say. Uh, 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 assistant producer. I don't know. Uh, Wacko. Video coordinator. Uh, yeah, from upstairs. Uh, he's got a hankering for these dogs. He's he got ditched a... Travis Barker for us. Yeah. He smelled them dogs, and he's like, you know what, Travis, I'm out. There's and dogs downstairs. I need some. And he said, uh, are those cooked already? And it's like, hey. They were cooked when they were in the package at Pavilions <laughs> when Matt bought them earlier. But we do have a Matt's hot dog maker, which, which makes it an official. Petro said money. Do yo 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 Do yo 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 Type of yeah. show. And doi, we doi, are doi, yeah. damn excited uh, to get there. But right now, we'll get into some more content as we move forward. And it is time for the number of the day. Here's my number. Oh, 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 oh. Number of the day. <laughs> Uh, number of the day, I believe, shoot, is 810. 8-10. Are you too busy celebrating pride to do your job, is Matt? your number? Exactly, I am. Oh, no, 70. There you go. 70 is your number of the day, as in 70 years. Well, you were close. Of innovation. Uh, Hobie Surfboards. I was all the way down, local outfit in San Juan Cap, their shaping shop. Shout out to Hobie Surfboards running Orange County. Since long before Orange County was a place where Vicki Gunvalson would thrive. 70 years. Uh, PMS, dedicated listener, is how I made this connection. Mark Johnson, 30-year shaping vet, uh, who took on the task of and reached out to me, a custom SUP, which is damn hard to find these days. You can get... Tell uh, the people what a SUP is, man. Because what people think is board. that you're just like going, SUP! Like so, to people at the beach, and that's not the case. You know, they're not, uh, a lot of inlanders listen to the show. You know, they don't know the surf terminology. Subs found their peak probably in the early 2010s. They have fallen out of favor considerably. It's the people that surf with the oar. Yes. So uh, Mark was their original sub guy. He was kind of one of the guys that came up with it and started shaping sub surfboards and reached out and said, hey, I love the Petros and Money Show. I love the Chargers. Uh, can I and, and would you be willing uh, and of course, paid for it, but said, I'd, I'd like to make you custom sup if you're interested, which he did. I went and picked it up today. And before I got down there, he uh, went to the Hobie shop in Dana Point, whipped out his own credit card and purchased for us. No, so this guy doesn't work for Hobie. He does, but he's a shaper. He doesn't work in like the shop. He works off site at the shaping shop. It's kind of like us that work for the Dodgers trying to go get Dodger gear at the Dodger stadium and they don't give it to us. So our man, Mark Johnson. 30 years shape and vet, uh, purchased. He said, hey, will you mind taking these to Petro? Oh, come on. I said, no problem. Well, where's so, my board? 70 where's years. my hot dog board? I want to carve some waves. <laughs> 70 years. Beautiful. Uh, oh, yeah, come on. 70 years of innovation. Little Hobie t-shirt. Well, there's nothing. Look, there was a time when Orange County was nothing but dudes in Hobie t-shirts and flip-flops. 
And it was a right. simpler time. And thank goodness there's still dudes in Orange County, and there's still Hobie, and then there's a whole lot of other things. I also, uh, while I was down there, met Junior, who just turned 60 this year, because he, too, was a big Petros and Money fan and wanted to come say hi. Oh, yeah, come you on. Know his, uh, look at that. Phil you know Edwards. what his dad started? Junior? Junior's dad founded and started OP. Oh, ocean, well, that was the other Ocean one. Pacific. So. You know, I mean, that was, look, that's the Orange County outfit there in the is. 80s and 70s. Uh, beautiful surf brand. And then that's a, a coffee mug there. Well, I drink coffee. Right? Signaling 70 years of Hobie surfboards. Of innovation in Hobie surfboards. You know, there's only one unfortunate thing that happened to Hobie over the years. And it has nothing to do with the Hobie. It's not their fault. It's not their fault. Hey, hey, it's not your fault. It's not. It's not your fault. But when Baywatch named freaking... Hasselhoff's kid, Hobie, took it's a little like, bit of a hit. How the hell are you going to name your kid Hobie? Here, here's my other son, town and country, <laughs> and coming around the uh, the corner is Quicksilver. It's Scorp Bay. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, and my daughter, Bella Bonica, is down the street. It's like, what in God's name is wrong with you? I mean, I know the Quicksilver guy named his, you know, Roxy is after his daughter. But, yes, but that's Roxy. Yeah, it's a it's a tough deal. But thank you to Mark Johnson. Thank you and so a much. Big fan of the show, big listener, and I'm there, sure he's listening right now. Look, I mean, we are blessed to have the sponsorships we have, and I'm not Hobie's not a sponsor, but uh, our relationships are with the coolest, oldest, most genuine, rooted California brands. Vans, Hobie. I mean, what a cool thing, Matt! And good luck on your board. May it not be dinged on your first ride out Indeed. on the by the pier. It's a beauty. He, he really uh, there's really a picture of it on Instagram. Yeah, I put it up on Instagram. So a big thank you to him and uh, a big thank you to Junior, also a listener of the show. Again, Dad, when he told me that, really floored me. Mouth the gate. Oh yeah, my dad. Uh, he found it. Op. <laughs> okay, just just Ocean Pacific. That's the problem it. is the poor guy can't leave the house because he chafed his legs so bad on those corduroys. Those were chafing. He, man, his those legs are so chafed. Super you chafing. know what? Those are chafing. You know, you're talking like old school 80s chafing. Well, you could hear them when you walk. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what? I don't think I can make it. I don't think I can walk down to Newport from Huntington. I don't think I'll make it. My chafing is so bad. You know? <laughs> and they're like, well, stop eating <laughs> so much, you know? So your legs don't rub together. It's like, but I'm hungry. And I got to wear these sweet these teal cords. The really tough times. Come on. Well, that's a fabulous uh, connection. Yes. Hobie Surfboards, one of the great brands of all time. Don't name your kid Hobie. OK, I believe uh, I think Hobie uh, fell on hard times on the show, right on Baywatch. I think Hobie overdosed. Oh, did he? Well, yeah, he's down there in Venice. You see the marks. You see the marks. It couldn't be anything else. Were they ahead of the curve? I, Opioids? Think, they, I think they were. I mean, Hobie was like, come on. Ah! Hobie, stop Grab it. Get the snake. Dad, it doesn't mean anything. I've seen you save so many people and pull so many bodies out of the sea. Why don't you yeah. save me? Yeah, save, save your me. Own son. Dad, save me. Out there playing basketball with Don McLean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time for Greek news, everybody. Greek news. Greek news. News. That is Greek. Invented democracy, and uh, we're the first people who, uh, you know, we think. Now here's Petros Papadakis. Zito Elas, Voxa Tofeo, long live Greece and glory to God. Because Matt, we have our very first Greek ever. And I'm not talking about Greek American Pete Sampras like me. I'm talking about a real dirty Greek. A Greek that smells, most likely. Oh, well, you would hope so. It's working on, hard. It's Greek. You're working hard out It's hot out there. Working hard. Stefanos Tsitsipas has broken through to the final of the French Open, and he will play the Joker, Novak Djokovic, the winner of an epic match on the clay today, and Roland Garros. Tsitsipas beat a German guy named Alex Zverev, six seed today, in five sets. It's a wild match, but not as wild as the, the next one between the two best tennis players in the world. And I'm not saying he's going to beat Joker, but Joker's kind of good. Joker's kind of beat up. He could. He's a little tired. And this is a breakthrough, Matt. First final. Rolls himself into the quarters. I make a big deal out of it. You mock me. Rolls himself into the semis. I make a big Wait, deal out of it. You mock me. I did. Now, 
French Open final facing Novak Djokovic, the youngest this player has been in the top ten. Five years we've been He's hearing still about the Tsitsipas. youngest player in the top ten. Okay, but it's been five years. Today is the day to celebrate him, not five years ago. <laughs> When's the final? Sunday? I don't know. <laughs> Look it up. Hell if I know. I'll read about it. Well, we got to get the girls going tomorrow, right? We got to pick their, them two. I don't know who's going first or last. I'll take that one. I like that one. What? No, that one, the one girl in the final. Maria Sakari? No, the other one. She's out. Exactly. So I are, said the other one. So we're all the other one. Whoever wins from the girls will be a first time winner. Okay. But congratulations to the greatest Greek in the history of Greek tennis. Greek. Stefanos Tsitsipas. From Greece. From Greece. Still lives in Greece? I'd like to think so. <laughs> I'm not going to ask any more questions. Oh, yeah, he still lives in Greece. Yes. But he lives on tour, Matt. He's an international man of mystery, like all tennis players. Indeed. So as we have covered the F1 religiously since COVID and dipped our meaty more, our nose, in tennis... Because of our international flavor. This guy is a f***ing show. As a show, I appreciate your reverence. I like that CT bus. I didn't like him until Miami. Now I love him. Miami's the first time you ever heard of him. You better shut your <laughs> If you want to play it, Gates. Why not? Play it for the list. Might as well. Play it for Gives the list. Give me listener. time to get a hot dog real quick. You have you have all the time in the world to get a hot dog. Yeah, but now it's going to play. I can go get the hot dog and I continue to eat it while Ronnie does his song of the day. Here is on camera three years ago, four years ago at the Miami Open, Greek American, or no, not American, Greek, Greek hero, Stefanos Tsitsipas versus look at you got the buns all wet. You just burned your hands. You're like the Jackson limo guy on the, on the, the motor. <laughs> now we got to fire Ronnie. <laughs> now we got to fire Ronnie. You burned down the place with those buns. Okay. See you later. Here's Medvedev versus Tsitsipas. Man, you better shut your f up, okay? Lenny, Lenny. Hey, Stefanos, you want to look at me and talk? Lenny, 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 Lenny. You have some problems? You go emergency toilet for Lenny, five Lenny. minutes, you're, and then you say, and you, then you hit left and you don't say sorry, you think you're a good kid? Look at me. Lenny. Hey, look at me, huh? Lenny. You don't look Lenny. at me. He started it. He started it. I know, but stop it. He started it. Yes, but yes he started yes, it. You said it's Russian. You think this is normal? I answered him because he doesn't know how to fight. He's a small kid who doesn't know how to fight. If he doesn't say anything, I have no problems with him. But if he says something to me and he wants to fight, he needs to do it. If he doesn't look at me. Oh, well, that's in our past. Our future, the freaking Grand Slam victory. Zito, we lost! All right, I see his single is all lined up, Matt. Case is providing the backdrop. Oh, this is one of our favorite parts. It is time for live on Facebook and YouTube during the PMS Chevy Summer Tour. Ronnie Fascio with the song of the day. This is the song of the day. <laughs> baseball is our song of the day. A baseball song from the Michigan Rattlers because baseball is today's theme on a Frogman Friday. <laughs> Broadcasting live from our Burbank Palatial Studios, the radio home of your Los Angeles Dodgers, for the third stop on the virtual Petros and Money Chevy Summer Tour for viewing on Facebook and YouTube, where your participation is vital to winning some great Summer Tour prizes along the way with a chance to qualify to win a brand new Chevrolet, just like Petros. Yeah. And stay locked in to great sports talk for Dodger baseball that's coming up later on this evening as the Texas Rangers visit the ravine for the weekend. And Tim Cates will have your Morongo Casino Dodgers on Deck program coming up at 6. Well done, Ronnie. Cates I don't crack easy under pressure. Were you moving your head like Ronnie moves his head while he was doing his thing there, Cates? I was moving everything. The bat, my head, the Dodger sign. I was really trying to distract Ronnie from behind. The, uh, the people enjoyed it on the YouTube. Okay. Oh, good. good Did they take pride in it? Oh! Pride night! I can't say, Matt. That I've ever seen anybody more impressed. God, I love that hot dog. With one thing's ability, than you are. I mean, Concorde airplane gets you no, there. No, whatever. Not nothing. Getting to space, 
Don't care. Drilling a hole through the center of the earth. That plastic box. The, the plastic hot the dog way steamer. It steams the bun and the dog so perfectly. And the fresh diced onions with the French's yellow mustard. And Matt is not like, you know, hey. he's not the warmest and fuzziest guy. No. But now that that thing is on, everybody will be offered a hot dog. Everybody. Oh, I'll get mine. Don't worry. Wacko, you want a hot dog? Oh, yeah, yeah, you know. You want a hot dog? Okay, no, yeah. I'm talking to everybody. Like, all two floors. Oh, yeah. Like, he gets ready these hot dogs. You got to try it. He's ever these are screws on, on, uh, on Christmas Day. Open that drawer there, Matt. Let the people see what's in the drawer. Yeah, what's in the drawer? Give him a little. Oh, oh, no. It just disappeared. What happened? It disappeared. It was there, and now it's gone. What, the hot dogs? Yeah, the hot dogs were right there on the screen, and now they left. Oh, I see them. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Fix your feed, Matt. Yeah, right. Don't overreact like a listener. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I so far behind? Mine doesn't work. Why isn't anybody else's working? What's going on? Oh, yeah, there they are. Look at those dogs. They look beautiful, man. We'll be back with the top story of the day. Watch out. Don't burn your hand. Yeah. It's, it's not exactly safe. You had an impact. Stay tuned. Well from the AM570 LA Sports Studios in Burbank. This is Petros and Money. Oh, we're blowing it out Woo! like Crazy Gideon. We're stacking them high and letting them fly. We're stocking them deep and selling them cheap. Hit on down to Traction in the uh, Skid Row area. We're giving away Dodger tickets like there's no tomorrow. How many are we giving away, Matt? Two more pair. How many is that so far? That's going to be eight pair. Holy crap. Oh. Yeah. Five pair? No, we gave away two each segment. Yeah, yeah, eight. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Kate's. No problem, dude. This will be our eighth pair yeah, giving away. Yeah, dumbass. Yeah. So what's our trivia what's question? What's it like to work for the law firm of dumbass and dumbass? So far, our what's answers... What's that like working for the firm? <laughs> our answers have been <laughs> Gavin Lux, who was asked about hats optional at night. Rick Monday, who watched Petros eat a giant Rick's bean and cheese burrito in three bites and, and commented on it. And then Lot G. Lot G. Where we used to broadcast from before they let us in the gates of Dodger Stadium. All right. Who was the craziest, most hot footness Dodger pitcher in PMS history, like the wackiest had the ass, nickname Hot Footin'. Just Hot Footin' ass, crazy ass dude. Hot Footin'. According to the Petrus and Money Show, who was the biggest prankster? And I'm not talking about fake ass masquerade pranks like Kike and the Bubble Machine. I'm talking real old school Tom and Jerry. Hot Footin' blank yeah. blank. Beat somebody to death with a fireplace thing. That's what I'm talking about. Real Hot Footin'. Who is that hot footer? Who is that hot stepper? Here come the hot stepper. Murder on me, a lyrical gangster. Murder on yeah. number one in Adiria. Murder on. We've got land. full lines already. 866-987-2572. Two pair to be given away. Are we going to do that every? Yeah, Kate's take one. Kate's, go ahead. Try. Get, take a dog. Yeah, take a dog. I got the onions over here. I got the mustard over here. Ketchup? Yeah, no, 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 no. You'd no. think it was crack and he was making money. Of it. He's Nino Brown at the Carter. Right. I mean, this guy's like, oh, come on, baby. Hey, try Waco. a hit first. Waco, we'll free. One? Go ahead, get one. Yeah, Matt, get, get in there, okay? Yeah, 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 get him. You got to try him. Uh, unbelievable. You've been sucking on that glass D. <laughs> I mean, this guy loves these dogs. Love these dogs. And they They're are so good. impressive. But what's more impressive is how impressed Matt is. Well, I made them. With the thing. I mean, I made those. You dumped the plastic bag into a drawer. I, that's the thing is, I made those hot dogs. When you say, hey, what's the best hot dog you ever see? Oh, Matt makes this unbelievable hot dog. You've got to try it. Have you ever had Matt's hot dog box? <laughs> because I'll tell you, it is the greatest box of hot dogs. I mean, you want to talk about putting dogs you know in a you box. You know what you want to do? We ought to roll up to the tail and pup or pinks and just park your shit right? or your stuff. Oh, whatever. Put, uh, put a... Uh, Umbrella. And, right? Uh, Our dogs are better than you. Our dogs are better than yours. Our <laughs> dogs are better than big yours. Big sign, Matt's hot dog right? box. <laughs> Plug that thing into a generator. And exactly. Like, Let's What's see. up? What's up? Run it up the flagpole. What's up? Who's going to salute Matt's hot dog box? Guess what I don't have to do? Put a bunch of chili. Oh, we're out.
Colin here. It's time for World Champion Dodger Baseball on your home of the Dodgers, AM570 LA Sports. Dodgers Baseball is on the air and on your phone. Stream all the games on the iHeartRadio app and get all our exclusive Dodger podcasts as well. Just listen to AM570 LA Sports every game all season long. Not all personal injury law firms are the same. Experience counts. Results matter. If your case is important to you, Call us now for a free consultation. The nice thing about attending a virtual summer tour. So this is completely different, completely different group of players. Is that when David Vasse comes up. That just shows you kind of a small town. You can mute him. can't go to Dodger Stadium, but you can go to the pub at Golden Road. Our favorite place to hang out post-game, pre-game, during the game, and the other thing that's great about Golden Road? The Dodger Blonde. And? Drinking it. Still the night shift, just brighter. Still making an entrance, just turning more heads. Still packing up, just a little easier. The Chevy Silverado, making life's journey just better. You need to sign up to win this Chevy Silverado. Go to am570lasports.com, keyword Chevy. Chevrolet, find new roads. Now back to Petros Papadakis and Matt Money Smith. This is Todd Lights, public address announcer for your Los Angeles Dodgers. And welcome to the Petros and Money Virtual Chevy Summer Tour. Live from the AM570 LA Sports Studios in Burbank, this is Petros and Money. That's hot dogs open. We got the uh, open and serving. Duke of Sports has been down for a hot dog. Colin Yee from the Dodger broadcast. Matt, our social guy, Wacko, has had one enjoying a Dodgers blonde. Yeah, a little tall boy. Ronnie Fascio is here at Ronnie Fascio on Twitter. Tim Cates at Tim Cates. Morongo Casino Dodgers on deck coming up at six. Right now, we are in the midst of our PMS virtual Chevy Summer Tour. And we want to take care of the people on the radio, too, huh? How about some tickets for y'all? 800-500-52. No, that's Sweet James's number. That's a 866-987-2572. You eat one of them hot dogs and you choke, if and it's you my choke, fault. Yeah, and you want to sue Matt. Yeah. 
It's in Matt's hot dog box. I want to sue an up and coming business. Matt's hot dog box. You should have seen it. It was all mapped out. We were going to be huge. Caller. Come, coming back for seconds, Duke? Huh? Oh, okay. The caller that knows what town Tommy Lasorda came and visited the Petros and Money Show on a summer tour. What town were we in that Tommy Lasorda came to visit us? I told you these questions are going to get harder. Hell, half of you couldn't get Hot Foot and Ted Lilly in the last one. So now here we go with uh, 866-987-2570. What town did the late, great Tommy Lasorda, one of the greatest motivators ever and ambassadors for Dodger baseball, if not baseball, to the world, what town did he visit after a hospitalization, the Petros and Money Show, in? we will accept two answers. Two answers. What town did Tommy Lasorda visit us in? That is the question. Dodger tickets for everybody that gets it right. Dodgers Rangers tonight. It's the PMS Chevy Summer Tour. Right. Click and sign up to win the truck or go to m570lasports.com slash Chevy keyword Chevy or slash Chevy to get on it. But right now it's time for the top story of the day. Top story of the day. 38. It's not the number of the day. 38, though, is the percent of the season the Dodgers have now completed with their 37 and 25 record. 38. That is a 97 win pace that's a that's a pretty big chunk that's, of games right 38 percent, and they're not in first place well, think about it this way last year they played 60 games that was the regular season they have not played 62 we'd have been freaking out right because they would yeah panic effing brothers is what we would have been <laughs> but 97 wins you would sign up for 97 wins at the start of the season no questions asked we get 97 Problem is, these Dodgers got stuck with an insane over-under prior to the season of 104. Well, what does that matter? That matters that most of the action was put on the over, and all the national media types were talking about, you know, this Dodgers team could win 116. Well, I believe Blair Plasky wrote the article. This could be 1929 Yankees got nothing. And this 2021 Dodgers squad. They said this will be the greatest Dodger baseball team perhaps the greatest baseball team ever assembled. And then they went out and got their puzzos knocked around by, like, the Reds. Well, health is a thick bitch. And health showed up. Well, yeah. And but she was like, hey, nobody invited me to this party, and I'm pissed. Yeah, but, but there's a lot of healthy people in the bullpen that just weren't performing. They weren't, and then they got hurt. And then guys like, my guy is not yours. Zach McKinstry! They were able to do some work. Uh, Mookie has not been right since go. Well, you know what David Vasse blames on that? Vegan lifestyle! Right. He says that his plant, plant-based plant Mookie bats is not the Mookie bats that the Dodgers are paying for. And you know what I say to that? He needs to eat venison and bison and no. ostrich. You know what I say to that? Come on over to our Burbank Studios, Mookie. Get yourself a delicious steamed hot dog from this delicious hot dog. I'll tell you, that hot dog really grounded I'll tell you me. what, you know. You're going to get your power you know, back. I just, I stopped. The meat disgusted me. I wasn't into it. I became, you know, kind of bougie and, and then, a really famous athlete making hundreds of millions of dollars. So I just went vegan. And then, and then I visited Matt's hot dog box <laughs> in Burbank where I had a steamed hot dog out of a plastic box with a bunch of radio types. Right? And then I just felt like a, a rocket was shoved in my ass. I started <laughs> to hit the ball all over the place. I got lead back in my ass. I've returned. The power numbers jumped off the page. Sparking sparks flying out of my ass like thunder and lightning. The entire bullpen is taking a hit. Corey, Cody, the Seas. Well, they're all represented in our bobbleheads here. Uh, like but the, here. Like all the, the toppings on the potato hey, uh, bar. Hey, Blackmore, you want to try a hot dog? Hey, go on. Take the top off. That's a bun. And then in the drawer is the dog. And then over here, we got the onions and the mustard. Go yeah. ahead. Have go some ahead. of Matt's have, uh, hot dog Enjoy bun. that. Enjoy that. There you go. Yeah, get one of them buns. They're delicious. Oh, nice and steamy. Isn't that good? Yeah, yeah, don't touch them all. Okay? But we are here on a day of celebration for the Get boys the hot in dog. blue. It's in the drawer. Yeah, in the drawer. You're fine. You're not in any What are you display. doing, it's dude? It's okay. You know, for a guy that works in radio, you're like so scared of the mics and the cameras. It's like you work here. Like you've done this forever. Hey, do you want mustard and onions? They're over here. Yeah. Yeah, right here. How bad do you want? Just come around and get it's it. How bad do you deal. want? How do you want it, baby? How do you feel? Come oh, on. He'll take it plain. He'll just take it plain. Oh, it's you're going to eat it plain like a child? Look, we'll throw you the mustard. I'll throw it to you. Hey. You want ketchup? Jeez. No, no ketchup. Hey, hey. <laughs> you want some onions, too? There you go. Look at that. Oh, His right. head's hey, already on camera. Bring back. Bring back those freaking. Hey, Blackmore. No, seriously. Get in here. Show the people your outlet Calvin Klein shirt. That thing's awesome. Oh, that's really mean. <laughs> that is really mean. That was, 
You know, that it was is, an outlet, right? That is me. I you know. know I know outlet gear when I see outlet gear. It's an outlet Calvin Look, Klein shirt. Just because you know something's what it is, it doesn't mean you have to point it out, man. It's a day of celebration for the boys it's in blue. Like, it's, it's like saying, hey, where'd you get those pro wings? <laughs> pay less? It's like, yeah, of course you got them in pay less. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> that was humiliating. Uh, literally, though, we celebrate the boys in blue. Literal boys and girls and toddlers and infants and moms Everybody. and dads and grandparents that are going to pack the stadium. Come Tuesday, 55,000, we zoom out and we get a look as to whether or not the Panic Brothers are set to panic with a second-place team trailing a giant squad that has the best record in baseball. How is that possible? They it, took three of four from the Dodgers in Los Angeles just a couple weeks ago. And we were told that the Di Giants couldn't win on the road. And That's yet exactly they did. exactly what we were told. A lot of the stuff we were told this year has not come to fruition. You know what else just we happened? We were told the Dodgers are the best baseball team in the world. We were told we, the Reds was a get-right series. Yeah, we were told that the Giants were going to come here and lose because they can only win at, at Oracle. Home. And look what happened. The Giants have the best team in baseball, and I had to read a 2,000-word piece on the evil4letter.com. We didn't have to. I didn't have to, but I did. And it really left me longing for our old friend, Farhan Zaidi, and the humor that was coming through, his dry sense of humor that we loved came him. through. We loved him. He was a dear friend of our show. He was a big part of our show because he did the interviews that Friedman did not right. want to do. And in the article, they talked about Farhan screaming, whining, pestering relentlessly to his big boss, Andrew Friedman, about this Max Muncie guy in the Oakland system that they refused to promote. And Farhan, for all of his squeaking, or that squeaky wheel, no one would listen until finally they said, you know what? Just give the guy what he wants. At least it'll shut him up. And he brought in Max Muncy. And look, there's a Max Muncy bobblehead right here on our table, like all the toppings on the potato bar in Reno. And you know why that Max Muncy bobblehead's going to be the most value of all the bobbleheads? Advanced stats. Max Muncy leads <laughs> all position players in Major League Baseball. It's not Mookie Betts. It's not Bryce Harper. It's because Mookie Betts is plant-based. It's not Fernando Tatis and all his swag. Did you see Jock Peterson do the imitation of Tatis and really Tatis Tatis the other day? Did he Tatis him? He hit a home run and he did the whole Tatis round the bases. And then they went to Tatis on camera and he was just like. <laughs> <laughs> Wear it, Tatis. Wear it. And everybody was like, Jock Peterson can't clean Tatis's jock. What's he think he's doing? Clean the Padres that day all the way to third place is what he did. They did. That's true. It was a day game. It is Max Muncy with his 3.2 war that leads all position players. Well, the you know only what I think reason about. he's here was to shut up Farhan. You know what I think about those advanced stats? Especially, you love them. Especially war. You don't even care about RBI. I don't know what it's good for. You love war. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Zaidi had also said, scraped Reds reliever Kevin Gosman off the scrap heap. Had Ooh. him ditch two of his exactly four pitch repertoire, and he is now seven and zero with a one two seven ERA, third overall in WAR. A leading Cy Young candidate, their big twenty nineteen, one of the first free agent signings of Zaidi's. How's that twenty twenty free agency signing to the Dodgers going? Old Sergeant Spin Rate, Trevor Bauer, and his forty million bucks a year. Well, we like Bauer. Then we did it, and now we do. Like, Nick Bauer was the dude. only guy that was playing well for quite some time for the Dodgers. He's a dude. He's definitely a dude. We appreciate him. What I'm pointing out is there was a little slice of me that longed for the Farhan days that we used to have on the Petros and Money Show and how much we really appreciated him joining us regularly. He didn't sign Joe Kelly, did he? No. He's smart. Which is why today is a great day for us to celebrate these Dodgers as they are in the softest part of their schedule. They will see 12. 12 straight games against four, or at least three, of the worst teams of the four they face in all of baseball. The D-backs are really lowly snakes that have to crawl with their belly on the, the earth. The Pirates, they have no swords. They're just chock full of scurvy. <laughs> Lost at sea, a rudderless ship, and they swept them. Now the last place Rangers. They don't even have horses. Just a dying They're horse. Just wandering around in tatters. <laughs> holes in those cowboy hats. Uh... The Phillies are a game under 500, second place in the NL East. Rangers are suffering from exposure. <laughs> and those Diamondbacks, and no poison in those fangs. It's just gummers. That's, that's nothing but a garden snake. <laughs> that's all it is. Uh, I suppose if you wanted to, and you were getting fickle, 
You could look at the July 1st through the 11th stretch with the Nationals, Marlins, and Diamondbacks as the softest part of the first half. But this one's pretty soft. And considering after this stretch, they will get the Padres, the first-place Cubs, and the first-place Giants after that. Time to fatten up. It's a good time to get these squads, P. You, you think know they'll be in first place when it's all said and done, Matt? Is that your prediction? That's what I'm saying. As a Pride Night Kershaw? That's why, of all players, it was great to see in here. As we go into Pride Night tonight, Clayton Kershaw on the mound against those Rangers. Pride Night! Rick Monday yesterday. You know, I was thinking about it when I was driving God, I home. hope they get the choir out there. You ain't kidding. Right? Get the Love men's it. choir. Or Jimmy Somerville. Just get them out there. Let's make it happen. Love that. Maybe Sam next Smith. year. Maybe next year. What's the matter? I don't know. I was thinking about it when I was driving home. Listening to uh, Rick Monday with that highlight. Hey, Kate. That's an insane play. That's an insane play. That's an insane play. Means that, that sort of vernacular and that delivery, that is not standard Rick Monday. No. Right? That's an insane play. You don't hear that. No, it's like a grandson or something. I was thinking about it. I was like, man, Rick must have felt what our man David Vassay was feeling and the real seam heads around town like, hey, this squad ain't going to be right until Mookie's right. Mookie doesn't start eating some hot dogs that are steamed in Matt's hot dog box. And he continues to hit warning, and he continues to have warning track power. Dodgers are in trouble. But when he takes two pitches and on the third one launches it out over left center yesterday, right there on the banks of the three rivers, and then comes up with a web gem. That's an insane play. Maybe this is the moment. Maybe the Petros and Money Dodger theme third stop on the Chevy Virtual Summer Tour is the moment when that 104 over under projection starts to come to fruition. You think this is the turnaround? Because people did kind of make fun of us. Like, you guys are having a whole theme for the Dodgers and they're not even in first place. Egg on your face, losers. And I was kind of like, well, they're defending champs and we're the Dodger station if they're in last place or first place. And still fun to go out and see the boys in blue and be an Angelino, whether they're winning or losing there, bub. Eating that pop can tell us. Papa can tell us. Exactly right. Those new Dodger dogs with mustard. No onions, though, huh? What do you mean no onion? I heard with the COVID, they got rid of yeah, the Yeah, there's wheel. no onion wheel. That's a bummer. Yeah, everything's in packets. Maybe there's an onion packet. Okay. There's an onion packet. You're in good shape. I mean, I think the onion packets come down from Gilroy. Mm. They got that onion juice in there. Yeah. The preservative it's, to make sure they don't turn. It's not the original. It's not. Kershaw could not be prouder to have him starting on Pride Night tonight. His first Pride Night start ever. Awesome. Against the Texas Rangers. That's why I'm wearing the number 22 today. And we got off with a sweet PMS dance party to get this thing rolling. If I could turn back time. If I could find a way. I take back all the blood I brought you, and you'd stay. If I could reach the sky, I'd give them all to you. That's all I know. You got it? What? You got the rest of it? I ain't got any more. I mean, I need some Navy guys yeah, to inspire right. me. and That's some. Right. I need some leather up my ass. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Buddy, you know what we can do? We can do a... Uh, do you believe in love and love? We gotta get our eyes. Uh, let's think about it. Let's put our heads together. Let's put our heads really together in the break. Let's really get up. Yeah. Let's, do you uh, believe in love and love? Let's get our pride passion going in that next segment. All right? It's Pride Night. Let's get our dance on in our next segment. Let's let the people know. Petros and Money Show is your Pride Night show of record. Oh, we are. And it ain't even close. We used to go out there for Pride. All the time. We but loved it. We're not going back till Tuesday. Next Tuesday. We'll see you on Tuesday. Exactly right. Hey, from the AM570 LA Sports Studios in Burbank, this is Petros and Money. Come by the Burbank Studios to Matt's Hot Dog Box. <laughs> we got onions available. Matt's Hot Dog Box is close to being closed. Is it? I mean, I mean, more hot dogs are available. I mean, we got ten. We can throw the other ten in there. We have ten. Oh, I got, I got eight more buns here. We literally have a, a live event: ten hot dogs, ten buns, <laughs> ten beers, ten right. glasses. Let's go. First come, first serve. <laughs> Get over to the YouTube.com or the Facebook.com AM570LA Sports page. 
because we're giving away Dodger tickets here in the break before we come back. Oral Hershey's are still to come. Pride Night Preview yeah. in a moment. All right, we on? Yes, sir. So our last hey, one uh, also, I believe, produced a little bit of struggle. Tough huh? for people, huh, KT? It's getting a little hard, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Anybody get it, though? Did we give away our two pair? We yeah, did, okay. Was what was the answer? Rancho Cucamonga. Rancho Cucamonga. Rancho or, or Alta Loma. Yes. We would accept Alta Loma. Did anybody, I was wondering, did anybody call with Seal Beach for his Spagatini appearance with Bobby Valentine? That wasn't post-hospitalization. No, it was not. That was in a happier time when he and Charlie Huff and Bobby Valentine got absolutely destroyed halfway through our show. Yeah, and uh, Trevor Ariza was peed on by his young <laughs> child. Literally. Still playing. Showed up with urine still, on his lap. Still playing in the big leagues. Uh, either way, we're so happy that you're here, and it's time for more PMS trivia on AM570 LA Sports on YouTube and Facebook. Dodgers trivia, and you call it 866 9872 570 PMS Dodgers Trivia 866-987-2570. You got any? Yes. Okay. What commissioner did Matt and I interview live from Dodger Stadium? Ooh, good one. What commissioner did Matt and I interview live good from one. Dodger Stadium the same day we interviewed John and Andres Andresic from Five for Fighting? Uh more than a fan. Who? I'm more than a player. Who did we interview? I'm more than some what? pretty face. And I remember what the event was. It would. It will. Uh, it, it's the giveaway. What yes. the event was that yes, we were out there for. Again, we're going to be back out at Dodger Stadium on Tuesday live, and that's going to be the first chance to see us since over our Morongo. Remember our Morongo? Oh, that's right. Das. I got it roped off. Right in the middle of the pandemic, we went to Morongo. Yes. Matt and I did a show <laughs> at Morongo. Peak. I mean, peak hospitalizations, peak fervor. Guys, I have vetted it myself. It's part of the deal. It is totally fine out there. I've and I looked need at you it. to go out there and tell them, okay, I, I guess we'll go. We went outlet shop, and I got a sweet Calvin Klein polo. No, you did. <laughs> 866-987-2570. Who? Did we interview which major sport commissioner did we interview live at Dodger Stadium right before or after John Andrasik from five for fighting? It's the Pencils and Money Chevy Summer Tour. Make sure you click on that thing on YouTube or Facebook and sign up to win that Chevy. If you don't do that, you're killing us. You're killing us. Uh, or go to am570lasports.com, keyword Chevy, and figure it out. We still have Oral Hershiser to come and Pride Night Preview next. Hey, JT, how excited are you? Two days from now, Dodger fans will be picking up my Go Get It Out of the Ocean bobblehead. Max, that's one of the greatest bobblehead themes ever, and it's so timely. Hey, go get them out of the warehouse. <laughs> hey, what happened? What day is it? How long have we been in here? Why does the Cody bobblehead now have a beard? There's a lot to tell you about, boys, but the good news is we're bringing you back to Dodger Stadium. By the way, what's your ring size? Ring size? Bobbleheads are back. For tickets, go to dodgers.com slash promotions. The secret tax does align. Sold out to Chevy. Baseball haiku coming at you in moments on the virtual Chevy Petros and Money Summer Tour. Come on now. Not all personal injury law firms are the same. Experience counts. Results matter. If your case is important to you, call us now for a free consultation. Let's go, Doyers! Let's go, Doyers! Let's go, Doyers! Hey, Petros and Money fans, Fred Rogan here. We hope you're enjoying the PMS Summer Tour, but don't forget to listen to us, Rodney Pete and myself, weekdays starting at noon right here 
on AM 570 LA Sports. We'll be right back to the Petros and Money Chevy Summer Tour. From a secret off-site location, possibly in the Far East, possibly in Whittier, this is Vic the Brick Jacobs on the Petros and Money Virtual Chevy Chevy Summer Summer Tour. Haiku for you. Ravine Revival Rebirth of the crown jewel of all stadiums in America. Dodger Stadium, the reopening. Full house, 58,000 fans in the house, the electricity. Dodger fans, come together right now over the blue. And as the great Lasorda would say, give it up for the Azul. Dodger fans, I'm feeling you. And now back to the Petros and Money Chevy a Summer Tour in the Burbank Studios. Oh, come on now. Masks on. <laughs> and now back to the Petros and Money Virtual Chevy Summer Tour. Let's go, Dodgers! Dodger fans from around the world, welcome to the Petros and Money Chevy Summer Tour. And thank you to the Los Angeles Dodgers for lending us their mascot. We're celebrating the reopening at full capacity of Dodger Stadium, which means 55,000 of you are going to see this guy. Poor gal. And it's going to be awesome. And we're celebrating with the third stop of the Petros and Money Chevy Summer Tour, giving away tickets all show long. And of course, every morning starting at 6 a.m. on AM570 LA Sports, your home of the world champion Dodgers. No, no, no. No, leave him alone. From the AM570 LA Sports Studios in Burbank, this is Petros and Money. Couple more pair of tickets to Dodger Stadium. Like four more pairs to give away. June fifteenth, they're opening to fifty-five thousand full capacity. We have got so many of the bobbleheads and promotional items that will be given away at Dodger Stadium this season. If you want to see the list for yourself, you can go to Dodgers.com/promotions. We still have two to six pair of tickets to give away, and we will do that in the next couple breaks. But you got to be watching on YouTube. Or you have to be watching on Facebook. And all you have to do is go to the M570 LA Sports page. It is the third stop on our Petros and Money virtual Chevy Summer Tour, a Dodger theme. Dodger celebration. Dodgers celebration. Rangers tonight. It's Pride Night at Dodger <laughs> Stadium. Clayton Kershaw is going to pitch. You know he loves it. Clayton Kershaw is going to pitch. He's going to pitch tonight. Chevrolet is our sponsor. Sign up to win that brand new Chevy Silverado. Just click on the YouTube. It's right up there. Or on Facebook, you can click. Or Am570LASports.com, keyword Chevy, and sign up to win. We give away a brand new truck every single summer on this AM Sports Talk radio show. We are very proud of that. Sweet James Burner, you saw him in the first hour. And Chef Merito, the Specie Spices of... Dodger Stadium, of course, and the official seasoning of PMS. And Matt Golden Road Brewing, a huge part of the Yoyer experience. Look at this uh, Dodger Blonde Ale 
that they make, and they just have the new one open in Atwater Village. Got the limited edition pint glass in my hand. They gave us a handful of them. A big thank you. Was it Abby that hooked us up? Abby, today? yes. Abby, thank you, Abby, from our Los Angeles, right off the 134.5 intersection, Golden Road, that hooked us up with some food today for lunch before we got this thing rolling. But $10. You get the pint glass to take home with you, the limited edition Golden Road Dodgers Blondale World Champions 2020 signature glass, and it's filled with that Dodgers Blonde Ale at Water Village, a good place to stop on your way to Dodger Stadium tonight for a first pitch just after 7 against the Texas Rangers on Pride Night. All right, and I'm sorry I said that they have onions in Gilroy. I know it's the garlic, garlic capital of the world. That doesn't mean they don't make onions. I'm so tired of everybody nitpicking me. I'm tired of it. Makes me just want to take off my clothes and dance for Pride Night. Turn it up. Turn back time If I could find a way I'd take back words that I told you And you'd stay Reach the stars I give them all to you. Come on, Pride Night Dodger Stadium. Love me like you used to do, you crazy boat of sailors. I'll take you all. Oh, what a song. Come on, Clayton. Show your pride tonight. Show those Texas Rangers that you wear the big cowboy hat and the big buckle. Show him who's got the daddy big boots tonight, Clayton Kershaw. I never want to make you cry. Play the other one. Play a life after love, man. Turn back time. Now let this one go, yeah. If I could find a way. Oh, oh brutal. Who, like you don't do that at the club at Studio 54. Right? They'd kill you. Oh my God, if you were rage, you'd get kicked in the ball. Freaking hang the DJ. L.A. Sports Studios in Burbank. This is Petros and Money. back uh well we're not really back we never left but we're back to give away more dodger tickets 
I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. Uh, didn't see anything weird in that last no, segment at all. Fine. It's Look, totally there's fine. nothing wrong with having a good time and dancing and, and expressing yourself. You know, the other night my son was dancing and some girl took a videotape of it and she said, I don't like your dancing. And here I said, Well, I don't see you dancing. Exactly. What do you do? You don't do anything but criticize people. That's right. You know, we don't criticize anybody. Hey, we're the we're the men in the arena. That's what we are. Yeah. All right. That's what we are. We're the men in the and arena. Hallelujah. It's raining, man. Damn right. Woo. Tonight. Friday night tonight. That's right, everybody. We want to see it. We want to see it out there. Oh, yeah, we want to see get it. Get after it. Let's go. Oh, we want you to get Freaking after Kershaw it. on the mound. Do it for him. Let him know. Do it for Doug. Let him know. <laughs> Let him know it's Friday night. Right in center field. Damn gonna right. Have the, the choir and everything. We freaking love it. So we're happy to be here with you. Uh, we want you to know that we have more Dodger tickets to give away. More PMS Dodger trivia. Who, who was the player? Pat O'Brien was trying to get the attention of at Dodger Stadium many years ago, shortly before the Pat O'Brien you know Steve what? Hartman show was taken off the air. Let's do a two-parter. Who was the player? And who was the proxy he sent to get his attention? That's going to be hard. You there get you that, go. you get all the tickets. <laughs> you, get you get that one, you get who all the tickets. Who was the player and who was his proxy? 866-987-2570. Are you my proxy? 866-987-2570. <laughs> you my, my proxy's uh, keeper. Everybody thinks oh, pick six. Everybody thinks <laughs> after our dance party to share that we are either A, uh, hopped up on Blue Chew, B, uh, hopped up on mushrooms. No, we got the Dodger Blonde Ale. Exactly. It's micro dosing, guys. That's all it is. We miss him. We wish Vic was here because oh, we know we he had a great time. Vic could do it with us. Oh, she loves it. Oh, she exactly right. loves it. Cher loves is it. our white savior. Damn right. <laughs> You're back in turn, turn back time. time. Are we done? What? Are we done? Are we done? No. What? Well, why'd you leave, you jerk? <laughs> Are you all done? I assume. This is my last one. I'm not doing any more of these. If I could find a way. Will you sit in my chair for the rest of this for these? All right. No, we're done, dude. The last. What's the last giveaway? I'm going on Tinder. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I need to pay this thing off, well, man. Dang, I mean, uh, oh, no, no, no. Pride Night Kershaw on Twitter is going to freaking go nuts. Dude. No, it's not. Grinder. Grinder. There you go. My bad. My bad. I'm sure everybody. there's Tinder for dudes. My bad. My bad. I'm going on Grinder. That's what I was trying to say. I'm Tinder. Welcome back. We've sure missed you. And we look a little different since we were last together. We've got some new hardware, and we cleaned up the front porch. But you know, we're most excited about seeing you again. So the stage is set for clutch home runs and big strikeouts. Now all that's left is to give Dodger Stadium its voice back. We hope to hear you real soon. Hey, it's Tim Cates. Hope you're enjoying the Petro Some Money Virtual Summer Tour. Dodgers taking on the Texas Rangers tonight. Dodgers on deck. Get started at 6 o'clock with yours truly. First pitch coming up at 7-10 with Clayton Kershaw on the mound. Don't forget, you can listen to every Dodger game on the iHeartRadio app. Download it. It's free. Click on AM570 LA Sports. Starting on Monday, every hour, starting with Dan Patrick, We'll be giving away Dodger tickets as it's the reopening of Dodger Stadium on Tuesday against the Phillies. Full capacity beginning June 15th. We got tickets to get you back in the park as your home of the Dodgers. AM 570 LA Sports. You are the greatest fans in the world. I've said that for 20 years and I'm saying it tonight. Thank you for the memories. Live from the AM570 LA Sports Studios in Burbank, this is Petros and Money. Not all personal injury law firms are the same. Experience counts. Results matter. If your case is important to you, call us now for a free consultation. It's still the night shift, just brighter. Still making an entrance, just turning more heads. 
still packing up just a little easier. The Chevy Silverado, making life's journey just better. Watch it happen, and those who wonder, what happened? Strong and on, Vic. We're Thanks the third time. Money, money, and thanks for the communication, the correspondence from Vic the Brick, watching on YouTube, as you should be. Yeah, we had a gay pride dance to great. start the show, and then uh, in the second hour, here in the third hour, we have a big old interview with Oral Hershiser. So we'll tone it down. Well, maybe tone it down a tone little. Tone it down a little bit. Uh, for the Bulldog. But it is stop number three of the PMS Virtual Chevy Summer Tour. Watch it on YouTube or Facebook. That's where you can click on the mark. You see the marks. Could be anything else. And sign up to win that brand new Chevy Silverado. Or go to Ampi70LASports.com, keyword Chevy, and get it there. We got Chevy as a sponsor. The number one selling full-size pickup in California is the Silverado. Sweet James joined us. A little while back, he's got more pride than anybody. 800 500 5200 if you've been injured. And Matt, Golden Road really came through today. Darn right they did. They uh, set us up with this delicious Dodgers Blonde you Ale. set us up! And you can get set up with the Dodgers Blonde Ale along with this pint glass. A sweet Dodgers Blonde Ale 2020 World Champions Limited Edition Golden Road Pint Glass. Ten bucks at Water Village Pub at the Golden Road uh, on your way into Dodger Stadium. The one we had a Dodgers... What do we have? We had two, I believe, two summer tour stops at the one right here. Oh, off yeah. The five and 134. Two there and two in the Anaheim. In Anaheim as well. So love Golden Road. So happy they're back as a partner. Shout out to Abby. Got us lunch today from the one right here up the 134 from us. But yes, at Water Village, if you're on your way to Dodger Stadium, pop in there. Dodgers Blonde Ale with the limited edition World Series pint glass, just 10 bucks. And stoked to have them on. Stoked indeed. And we have a Dodgers Texans tonight. I mean, Rangers. I mean, the team from Texas. Exactly. They all stink. Six o'clock, Dodgers on deck. First pitch at 710. Tomorrow is when the Clippers are going to pop off. 530 is game three on AM 1150. And that brings us to the final hour fun facts. It's fun in effect. It's the hour three. Fun facts. Fun facts. Did you know the dollar bill has not changed since 1929? Oh, yeah, that's why they have the Illuminatus on the thing. Illuminatus! Government thinks no one would take the trouble of counterfeiting such a low-denomination currency, <laughs> so it has had no fancy updates or security features, as you see, like the digital ribbon and the glitter and the threads and the $100 bill. That's why stuff. most dollar bills at strip clubs are counterfeit. Exactly right. I mean, when somebody makes it rain, those strippers got nothing. They go to the 7-Eleven and try to turn that thing into a, a, a Slurpee. You're not buying that counter meth. It ain't happening. <laughs> it's not happening. The horny goat weed. Exactly. Sorry. Well, I didn't know that, Matt. That's tough on the dollar. It is. You know, smoke them if you got them. It's right? lonely at the bottom when you're a U.S. dollar bill. Time for the quick hit. <laughs> the PMS quick hits. I'm making quick, y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dodgers, two games over. Well, uh, two games over, 10 games over 500. So that's 12. Two plus 10. On yeah. the season, second place in the NL West. Matt says he thinks the Dodgers can win it. He I said it in the last second. He said it. He said it. Uh, they started six game homestand tonight. And on that homestand, we you didn't will... read his little note. You didn't read his little nugget to our dear friend Daniel Jeremiah. One Kate's game ahead of Daniel Jeremiah's Padres, who've fallen into third place. Whoa! Now, Kate doesn't recognize this. He's now fallen into Daniel Jeremiah's trap of, you see, the Dodgers care about the Padres. Right, yeah. That's the problem. That's case. why I tried to skip it. Exactly. Like Frogger. Six-game homestand. The real news is the re-reopening. No one cares if Padres Stadium's re-reopening. Petco, where the pets go. It's a pretty sweet stadium. If you're a cat that wants to blow it out in a litter box, I guess. The Angels are 30-32. and 32. <laughs> They've won three in a row. They're in Phoenix tonight to take on the D-backs, who suck. Who's getting the start? <laughs> Who's getting the start? 
the only person anybody cares about Dude, getting the start. Babe Ruth. That's what we're talking about here, man. Throws the ball 101. That was in the seventh inning. Hits the ball like 119 miles an hour. Exit below. It's unreal what he's doing this year. We told you Clippers Jazz is tomorrow. On our sister station, AM 1150. They had their chance. Their big debut on AM 570. The Dodgers played an early game at 930. It was the, like Peg. Right? It's your big debut. And they did not get back to you. Peg. Sadly. They, uh, they fell short. They are once again in a 0-2 hole. And they will try to win the game three at home pregame with the Saltier at 430 tip off at 530. The NBA came calling and they said to Jawan Howard, hey, Jawan, do you want a job ah. for the Celtics or the Blazers head coaching jobs? And he said he's not interested. He wants to stay at Michigan. There are currently four openings so far in the NBA. And people are trying to, oh, Tim Cates is trying to call out Palenka here. Look at this. Uh, Former job guest. to fix the Lakers won't be easy. Only six under contract, $115 million committed. Said genie on the ownership and power to do one thing, smartly build a roster, 30 teams confined by the cap. We've got to be smart about how we put those puzzle pieces together. Only one goal, doing it smartly to have a championship caliber team. Reportedly, the Cleveland Cavaliers are extremely interested because Matthew Dellavedova's contract is now oh. up in Alex Caruso. They got to have their feisty, defensive-minded white oh, guy. for the people of Ohio. Exactly right. Sean McVay took a little heat. Yeah, he said, I was in a really good, you know what? I was in a really good mood all summer. Of course I was in a good mood, suggesting that the acquisition of Matthew Stafford put him in a good mood, as it should. Matthew Stafford's a really good quarterback. People thought it was a shot at the golf. It was. So what? So what if it was a shot at Jared well, Goff? Look, the guy's in Detroit now. LA cares? team, if you're an LA team with a house in Malibu, you probably want to be sensitive. She upset those people. Now the guy had to go out there and apologize because he said he was in a really good mood since the team acquired Matthew Stafford. Here's Sean McVay apologizing like a batch. I think uh, I made a comment earlier that was definitely taken out of context. I am very excited. I have been in a good mood Every because of the confidence I have in this team. But by no means is that a slight to anybody, you know, like Jared, who has done a phenomenal job for the last four years here. So I, I hated that I even have to address that. But yes, you I do think out of respect for him and all the good things he's done, I am in a good mood. But that doesn't mean it. It's not because we're working together uh, or because of yes, just Stafford exclusively. There's a lot of good things going on that I feel really good about and I'm confident about. So don't twist my words. We don't but have I didn't to. say that. Yes, you did. It's no big deal. Matthew but I didn't Stafford say that. is 10 times the quarterback of Jared Goff. You should be in a good mood. And it's not that, that big of a deal. And even if you still had Goff, you'd have said you're in a good mood. Yes. Because that's all coaches ever say when there's no games that they've lost. I'm Everybody's excited. I'm not looking forward to this season. I think we suck. <laughs> Back to you. In the booth. I didn't say that. <laughs> That I didn't say that. Thank you, Jeez. Coach McVay. My God, see Tsipas won on Sunday. He's taking on the Joker, who beat Rafa Nadal today in the French Open, and we will be back with the Bulldog, the one and only Oral Hershiser. You know, will join us next. Dodger tickets given away. We still have a few pair. We are giving away at least two pair per break. Get over to YouTube. Get over to Facebook. The AM five seventy LA Sports page. We will do three minutes Dodger trivia as it relates to the Petros and Money show. Not like, hey, whoa, who's Sandy Koufax's first no-hitter thrown against? No, not that. Petros and Money Dodger trivia coming up for three minutes. An opportunity for you to be in the building when it's open to all 55,000 on Tuesday against the Philadelphia Phillies. Check it out at AM570 LA Sports page of YouTube or Facebook. That's where we're going right now. Oral Hershiser next on Zoom. So get to the YouTube or the Facebook and watch it. From the AM570 LA Sports Studios in Burbank. This is Petros and Money. All right. So we have been told that we are out of Dodger tickets. We're Save. Out. No, no. We have two pair. Two so, pair left. So this will be our last Dodger ticket giveaway. We'll do two pair here. Why is your upside down? What? Your mic flag. Whoa, weird, man. <laughs> <laughs> man, that's that's Bush League, Matt.
How about that, huh? How about, that looks even how worse. About right there. <laughs> how about that adjustment on the fly, huh? You like what I did there? Yeah. How you uh, like that? <laughs> Two more pair of tickets to give away to All right. Dodgers Phillies on Tuesday. Dodger trivia. What was the answer to our last one? Derek Jeter. Oh, Derek Jeter and nobody got, nobody nobody got Montana got, Rowan. Nobody got uh, Montana Nor Rowan. should they have, by the way. Or Justin uh, Frostberg. Okay. Uh, okay. What country star ran into the Petrus and Money Show on opening day on the field at Dodger Stadium while accompanied with his father? I figured it out after a while. I didn't know who it was. You didn't know who it was, Cates. So don't tell. Yeah, you Googled it. I You're figured it like, out. I recognized him. Country music listening, experience. Cates. You didn't know. None of us knew. What country star who is now on many commercials, did Matt and I, did we interview him? Yeah. Yeah, we interviewed him, and uh, we met with him. Hey, you. On the You're field. You're awesome. On opening day. <laughs> man, I love that one song. So many did, years man. ago. What was that country star, and what was that one song that he was singing? No, no, I mean, I was just kidding. I don't know. Yeah, just name. the name of the guy. What do I know? I don't know this. 866 987 257. bit my balls and I called Sweet James. That's the only country. <laughs> now, song that I would know. be legitimate country, not this bullsh. Bullcorn pop country. The yeah, case that bullcorn. You tell them. You exactly. tell them, damn nabbit. Exactly. One margarita. Two margarita BS. Stuck my knife into the side of his pretty little souped up four wheel drive. All that bullcorn. <laughs> 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 yeah, Kate's. I can answer for that. I mean, exactly. it's been a long time since anybody wrote a great song like Alan uh, uh, Jackson's Chattahoochee. Right. I went down yonder on the Chattahoochee. Never know how much money water did to me, but I learned how to swim and I learned how to love. A lot about living and a little about love. A lot about living and a little about love. I went, I went down yonder on the Chattahoochee. Oh, Never ding know how much ding money water ding did to me, but I learned how to swim and I learned how to rub. <laughs> One out, right there on my knee. What? All That's right, it. All right. All right. Who was it? Bitch it. This time, we ask that you direct your attention to your screens for the starting lineup. The murderer's row of the show. Leading off from San Pedro, California, number 420, the old P, Petros Papadakis. In the two-hole, the voice of the Bolts, your Los Angeles Chargers. Number one, Matt Money Smith. And the kid out of John Burroughs High School in beautiful downtown Burbank. You might remember the all CIF legend and hardest working man in radio, Tim. Don't call me Timmy Cates. Stay tuned on YouTube or Facebook to the Petros and Money Chevy Summer Tour. And a big thank you to Golden Road Brewing. We love them. We've had great events there over the years and we'll be back. Thank you for your sponsorship. Let's go Dodgers. Dodgers Rangers coming up, but stay with us on AM570 LA Sports PMS Chevy Summer 2. This is Petros and Money. All right, Dodger fans. I'm here with LA legend Vic the Brick. Make some noise for Vic, you guys. Dodgers fans, I'm feeling you. Wayne Fort. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. That's one, two. All right, Jocks at four. There we go. Keep it going, Vic. Every game on your home of the Dodgers. AM 570 LA Sports. Not all personal injury law firms are the same. Experience counts. Results matter. If your case is important to you, call us now for a free consultation. It's still the night shift, just brighter. Still making an entrance, just turning more heads. Still packing up, 
just a little easier. The Chevy Silverado, making life's journey just better. You need to sign up to win this Chevy Silverado. Go to am570lasports.com, keyword Chevy. Chevrolet, find new roads. Now back to Petros Papadakis and Matt Money-Smith. That's Russell Money, AM 570 LA Sports Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. It is the third stop on the PMS Virtual Chevy Summer Tour. You already see them on the screen, so don't want to drag this out too much. Just do yourself a favor. There is a video component to this conversation. Get to YouTube, get to Facebook, click on our AM 570 LA Sports feeds, and you will get to see, because it is show and tell day, on the Petros and Money Chevy Virtual Summer Tour Stop number three, when this man joins us, Pete. And better than show and tell, it's Dodger show and tell, as we are your Dodger station hurtling on the PMS Chevy Summer Tour towards Morongo Casino. Dodgers on deck with Tim Cates. But right now, we're on our virtual tour and with us like he is every year so everybody can see his face and the trophies and connect with the past, the present, and the future through our team in town, the Los Angeles Dodgers, 18 years in the majors, Cy Young and a World Series MVP, one of our favorite people ever, a great broadcaster and a great man, Spectrum Sportsnet LA's own, Oral Hershiser on the Chevy Silverado Plus, Celebrity Plus. Zoom. Hello, Oral. How are you? Hello, guys. Hi. How you guys doing? I'm doing great. I, You know what? This is a Friday, so it's a really exciting day, of course, going into the weekend for all the listeners, so they're probably pretty excited. What's it like for you? I mean, obviously the Dodgers coming off a road trip, but you know, you look fresh faced. You haven't been sleeping in a, in a strange hotel or, or taking overnight flights. Uh, it really is. I mean, we all do broadcasts and we all uh, have kind of halted our travel. What's it like for you and Joe doing the games at home? Because the broadcasts are as strong as ever and relatable as ever. I appreciate that. The uh, last year, it was definitely strange. Now you don't want to say you're used to it, but we are used to it. I think it's tougher on the play-by-play -play guy with Joe because of the flight of the ball and if the camera doesn't get it right away. For me, as far as the depth of the uh, replays and analyzing the game, I can't look off ball because all I see is the monitor, right? So I yeah. can't see the routes of the outfielder all the time. I can't see the break of the runner at the same time. I can't see who made a good turn at second. Um, and I, I think some of the depth of it, the, the viewers maybe are not picking up on it, but I think the biggest thing that we miss is our relationship with the staff, with the coaches, with the players around the batting cage, on the airplane, down in the locker room, where we get another level of information. And it's not like they're blowing secrets and telling things, but there's a flavor to it that gives you confidence to go somewhere on the air. It gives you, uh, you know, I better hold back on that. I was going to start talking about this slump, but now I found out about an aching wrist that I've got to, you know, yeah. really kind of couch a little differently. So I think the depth of the information and the content at times is different, but I don't think the fans know what they don't know, right? Yeah. We only yeah. know now what we don't know. What, um, what's been the difference with fans? Or uh, we're going to have full capacity on the 15th. Have you noticed a dramatic difference in the level of play by the players because there's fans in the stadium? Well, I think it's the biggest difference is uh, the energy level for the veteran players comes back. And I think for the young players, they're having multiple opening days. They're having multiple first time in a stadium with fans and the nerves or the excitement and how do they deal with it? I've always thought, you know, in baseball, you talk about five tool players, but you also got to have a sixth tool. And I think it's the emotional poise tool and it's the moment tool. And so these moments are growing. The more we get fans, I think the home field advantage at Dodger Stadium is going to go through the roof because these guys are not going to be used to the road clubs and especially the young teams are not going to be used to 50,000 people clamoring and, mm. and going nuts for the Dodgers and having that place just shake with excitement. Look, in, uh, in virtual summer tour, well, in vir not virtual, but in summer tours past, you have wrapped your arms around us while we're wearing grass skirts and coconut bras. Yeah. So you know what the nature of this is supposed to be. It is grab ass, it's party, it's have a good time. It's That's us. When you Chevrolet. That's us. Yeah. But I think because you are one of the greatest pitchers in the history of baseball, we got to ask the question because I think people would love to hear kind of what you can weigh in when it comes to spin rates, and being able to add sticky stuff or spider X or whatever it's called on the ball 
and and how things are going to change here in the next two to three weeks with it seemingly being Mm -hmm. eradicated yeah i think um the game has come to an intersection uh it's an intersection of data it's an intersection of uncovering a hole in the game that people didn't know exist. Because remember, spin is an invisible mystery. It, it wasn't something in my day that we knew. We knew a guy was a high ball hitter, a low ball hitter. My curveball's better than the guy's curveball that he hit, so I can still stay with it. Um, the data of where the guys are positioning, so I can make the guy hit it to the left side where there's three fielders. It's going to be really hard to hit. Uh, The sticky stuff was used. I used a little bit of pine tar on my hands just to make sure I had a grip, especially in cold weather, but not to a level of what I think they have now. I think they have something now that it doesn't take anybody to figure out, oh, this feels really good. They can just touch something, a substance that is produced, and it actually works. In my day, you had to figure out what was the concoction. You know, is it a little bit of water, a little bit of rosin, a little bit of hair gel? What is it that all of a sudden just makes the ball feel good? But I think what they found too is not only can we make the ball feel good, but we can make the ball perform differently by gripping it and having it even more sticky. So in our day, it was more just about getting a grip and having it not slip out of your hand. I think now we've reached a level with all the data and the pitch designing and all the different things that you can actually design the pitch according to what comes out of your hand with what level of stickiness. And then you know exactly where to throw it. You don't have to throw it as precisely because if you, you can just throw it generally up and if if it's an illusion to the hitter, it doesn't matter if it's on the corner. In our day, it may be more about hitting the corners in this day, it more be, might be about just getting the correct height and the correct spin with the correct tackiness on your hand. So I think the pitch design and all this has come together. I think also the weather. We're starting the season a little bit more in the colder weather, so the hitters are going to be behind a little bit more. So I think a, a whole intersection has happened, and I hope baseball doesn't knee-jerk so far that we have to change again that we subtly move the game in the right direction, what they want with more entertaining, more balls in play. But I think definitely there's not one specific reason. And and, and Nomar will tell you, and so will other great hitters, that the hitting approach needs to change a little bit too. The one and only Oral Hershiser is our guest. You see the marks. It couldn't be anything else. He's right there at his desk in his beautiful home, the great Dodger broadcaster and the great Dodger and a great friend of the Petros and Money Show during the Chevy Summer Tour. Look at that guy. Look at that beautiful, <laughs> look at that mouth. Uh, and, and check yeah. him out, of course, uh, look at on those Twitter teeth. and Love everything. It. Dana makes that lunch every day. <laughs> and, of course, sign up to win that Chevy Silverado at am570lasports.com, keyword uh, Chevy. So I'm kind of just vibing on the whole spin rate thing to put it to bed, unless yeah. Matt wants more, because we are kind of into it. Uh, you don't think it's making as big of a difference as some people have purported uh, early this season? No, I think I think it is making a difference. I think it really is. I just think that it's it is an intersection of a lot of things, Petros. And you know football at the depth that I know baseball. And I think it's more than just the sticky stuff. So if they go after just the sticky stuff, you know, you know, it might not be the, the whole answer. The ball, the ball has been changed. It's been deadened. The ball leaves the bat like it's a, leaving a balloon, which is really quick, but then it floats at the end. You see so many balls that sound like they are cracked. You know, they're just killed. And then we watch them and they just die on the warning track or at the wall. So what percentage of those balls now are just being caught and the hitters need to either make an adjustment or maybe they need to liven the ball up too. And Would it be livening the ball up compared to the sticky stuff and a change in the hitter's approach that all of a sudden brings back the action that they want? Does it, um, you know, when you, and I hate to bring it up, but you think about, you know, the, the era, the, the the juice era of, of the late nineties and basically hitters saying, I got to keep up. If I'm going to stay in the league, you know, there's guys that are hitting 50 home runs that have never hit more than 15 in a season. So somehow if I want to make this my living, I have to keep up. Do you think we're there with pitching that that percentage of pitchers is like, look, I, I've got to do this or I'm not going to be able to stay in the league? 
Uh, I don't know where we're at with that part of it. I think you're right, though, that they are they're comparing this to steroids as far as on the pitcher side. But you got to remember in the steroid or, era, pitchers were taking it, too. So it was right. kind of a balancing act between the cheaters. You know, you've got the pitcher that can throw 95 three days in a row out of the bullpen. And you've got the starter that can go nine and still be throwing 98 miles an hour at the end or 95. And you've got the hitter that can miss hit it and still go 340 feet and be a home run, or he can hit it a long way and hit it 500 feet. So, yeah, I, I think there's just, it's just such a complicated balancing act because you're talking about not only adjusting the sport and the rules and what's going on as far as the ball, as far as the data that's there, that's uncovered holes in the game, as far as all the different things that are happening. I just think that uh, we've got to make these subtle moves uh, I don't like the fact that the Dodgers are being picked on or Trevor Bauer or Clayton Kershaw or any of our pitchers, because here's what happens. If you have the most talent and have, and have constructed the best roster with the best arms, and there is a general cultural rule that you can have some tackiness on your hand and be able to pitch with it, of course, your team is going to have the best spin rates or the best arms because you brought the best roster together. As the league says, we're going to have a rule and we're actually going to enforce it. We're not going to have a rule and not enforce it and just say, oh, that's culturally correct. We're going to see everybody maybe come down slightly and still the Dodgers are going to be on top. Hey, if it's steroids or the sticky stuff, either way, it affects your balls, right? <laughs> <laughs> That is definitely a tour stop. That is a tour stop line right yeah. there. Yeah. There that is We're not a that. regular daily line from Come you. on, Oral. No. <laughs> uh, do you, uh, you worry about the Dodgers? I mean, I think people kind of just expect the team to be uh, in first place all year long. There's that beautiful Coogee that we've seen over the years. Uh, oh, Coogee oh, sweater. Coogee down to the socks like Biggie Smalls. Uh, Matt, Matt, they just think you come on and do radio just off the top of your head. You are so prepared. Yeah, you look at him. Locked in. Uh, right. Are you worried about the team and the start that they've had? Just No, I'm not worried. I think oh, that I uh, <laughs> just put the Cy Young up for you since you're Look at that. Off Showing off his Cy Young award. Look at that. Piece. Is that the broken on one? YouTube. This is the one that I... I only have one, but I mean, this is the one that I put in the trunk and take the kindergartners and it breaks when you put it in the trunk. <laughs> There's a trophy shop that'll probably do it for free just to all see my, they fix all my the trophies, young. All my trophies break. <laughs> <laughs> I put them in the trunk to take to schools or speed engagements and then and the glue comes undone. <laughs> but so what do you think, Oral? I think the, the Dodgers are in trouble. I think the Dodgers are going to be fine. I think it's a 162 game season. I think we had a lot of major injuries. We are impacted as far as if you believe in war, we are impacted the most on who's been out and what is their natural war. So it's not only days on the DL or IL, but it's, it's the impact of the quality of players that have been on the IL. So when you get Seeger back, when Bellinger starts performing up to his level, when Betts performs up to his level, you've got guys like Muncie and Taylor that are unbelievable right now that we're not, you weren't, you were expecting them to be maybe a little bit more of the chip in guys or the solid guys that are slightly above average. But the three major resumes that you said going into the season that were going to be unbelievably outstanding on the outs on the offense were Bellinger, Seeger, and Betts. And those guys aren't up to the par yet. So I think that you're going to see this team really start to perform. We're getting a healthier rotation. Uh, we're getting guys back in the bullpen. And as we do that, as the weather heats up, as those key ingredients come back into the lineup, I think you have a combination of better pitching and better offense. Last thing uh, for me here, Oral, you, you showed the Cy Young. Uh, you, you have, you know, one of the greatest, you held one of the greatest records. You hold one of the greatest records in, in all of professional sports. Um, when it comes to, they're having this debate about the Grom now, right? And let's say he keeps this ERA below Bob Gibson's ridiculous one one two um, over three hundred innings and thirty four starts. We brought this up yesterday with basketball. You know, we're hearing about oh, and this is new playoff record hasn't hasn't been touched since Dominique Wilkins. Do you think numbers are inflated today? Like, would you be upset to see Degrom get the ERA title with one hundred and fifty innings instead of Gibson's three hundred? Uh, I think that the sports are changing all the time. I think the athletes on the floor, on the diamond, on the field are the best athletes that have ever stepped onto those places. I think you know that through watching Olympic records, which we're going to have here this summer. As Olympic records are shattered, all those Olympic abilities are stepping onto fields and diamonds and, and, and courts. 
And so uh, as numbers change and as numbers get inflated through generations, I think some of it is the ability and the training and the knowledge of the game. And I think others are because of rule changes, like the three-point shot in basketball. I mean, if you took the rim and you widened it, how how many baskets would Steph Curry make? I mean, seriously. Yeah, all of them. So, so when you say that a, a player was taking steroids or you say a player is, has sticky stuff on his hands or you say there's an adjustment to the game and the rules and the ball, all of a sudden, the elite of the elite are going to crash through some things, some numbers where the game was different. It was different either by training, it was different by knowledge, it was different by whatever they were allowed allowing culturally to be in the game that the fans might known about or not known about, or it was just going on. Uh, so I don't worry about the numbers as much. I look at numbers more compared to who's performing those numbers on the field that we are currently playing within a smaller time frame, maybe three years, five years, maybe landmarks of when things have changed. I don't worry about comparing generations anymore. Yeah, Bob Gibson could kick all those people's ass anyway, forever. <laughs> Well, I think it's great that people, you know, a sport is infamous or it's famous, right? It's still people are being entertained. People are talking about it. It's yeah. exciting. And uh, I think it's a topic we're always going to talk about, but I don't think it's a topic that's going away. And I don't think it's going to make people leave sports. I think it's going to draw certain fans and it's going to make other fans a little bit surly about it. And it's going to keep it popular. The great Oral Hershiser, ladies and gentlemen, check them out tonight on Spectrum Sportsnet LA with the great Joe Davis. Simply the best, a class act, and the Dodgers couldn't have a better ambassador uh, for what they do uh, than Oral Hershiser on their air. Oral, we love you. Have a great call tonight, and, and thank you for doing it, like always. Love you guys. Great Friday. You're the best, Oral. And remember, an opportunity for you to still win the opportunity to be one of the finalists to win that Chevy Silverado. It's available at am570lasports.com slash Chevy. Keep watching here on the YouTube channels. We go to break, of course. Dodger tickets will be given away right here on youtube.com, am570la sports, or facebook.com, am570la sports. We'll Live from the am570la sports studios in Burbank, this is Petros and Money. time we ask that you direct your attention to your screens for the starting lineup the murderers row of the show leading off 
from San Pedro, California, number 420, the old P, Petros Papadakis. In the two hole, the voice of the Bolts, your Los Angeles Chargers, number one, Matt Money Smith. And the kid out of John Burroughs High School in beautiful downtown Burbank. You might remember the all CIF legend and hardest working man in radio, Tim. Don't call me Timmy Cates. Stay tuned on YouTube or Facebook to the Petros and Money Chevy Summer Tour. And a big thank you to Golden Road Brewing. We love them. We've had great events there over the years, and we'll be back. Thank you for your sponsorship. Let's go Dodgers. Dodgers Rangers coming up, but stay with us on AM570 LA Sports PMS Chevy Summer Tour. This is Petros and Money. All right, Dodger fans, I'm here with L.A. legend Vic the Brick. Make some noise for Vic, you guys. Dodgers fans, I'm feeling you! Wayne for it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go! That's one, two. Right, jocks at four. There we go. Keep it going, Vic. Six. Come on. Oh. Still to come. Juggling. And Oral Hershiser. Catch every game on your home of the Dodgers. AM 570 LA Sports. Not all personal injury law firms are the same. Experience counts. Results matter. If your case is important to you, call us now for a free consultation. It's still the night shift, just brighter. Still making an entrance, just turning more heads. Still packing up, just a little easier. The Chevy Silverado, making life's journey just better. You need to sign up to win this Chevy Silverado. Go to am570lasports.com, keyword Chevy. Chevrolet, find new roads. Now back to Petros Papadakis and Matt Money Smith.
Live from the AM570 LA Sports Studios in Burbank, this is Petros and Money. PMS to head to that big blue heaven in the sky. God bless you all and a big thank you. That is a wrap almost for the PMS Chevy Tour stop number three. One more until we go all the way live, fingers crossed, and get out there amongst the people again. But a huge thank you. To Dieter Rule, Matt, the great Dodger organist who gave us all these intros, uh, the great man behind the mic at Dodger Stadium, public address announcer Todd Light. Yeah, it's been a hell of a day. And also every single year uh, that we have been doing summer tour stops, seemingly Oral Hershiser makes a stop. Oh, we, yeah. Normally, like it would a be, prince. He just joined us in right? the last segment. On his way to the ballpark, but because this is virtual for the second year in a row, he has been part of our virtual summer tour. Of course, you'll hear him on the broadcast. With Joe Davis, and we cannot thank Oral enough, one of the best friends of the Petros and Money show. That via Zoom, Sweet James Bergener, not only a guest a little bit earlier in the show, but also an important sponsor. And one of the reasons why we can continue to have these virtual Chevy win you a Silverado summer tour stops. Remember, if you've been injured, call Sweet James Accident Attorneys at 800 500 5,200, and that's any kind of accident. That's right, Matt, even if a dog bites your sack or somebody's ferret attacks you. But right now, uh, know this. uh, We do have just a few more minutes for you to become the finalist for the Chevy Silverado for this tour stop. Click on the banner on YouTube or on Facebook and sign up to win the Chevy or am570lasports.com keyword Chevy. And when this show is over, Matt, you can podcast on the iHeartRadio app for your smartphone. But like so many people did with our awesome Ren Fair Don Quixote medieval amalgamash, you can go back on YouTube and Facebook. In its entirety. Come on. Watch it in its entirety. And also, along with Chevy and Sweet James. That's who we need to thank. Golden Road Brewing. If you are making your way over to the Dodger game and you're going to head through Atwater Village, how about stopping at the brand new Golden Road Atwater Village Pub, now open until 10 p.m. You can watch the Dodger game there. Enjoy this, and we've been enjoying this all show long, the Dodgers Blonde Ale and the limited edition World Championship glass that they have there. Ten bucks! You get this delicious blonde ale and a glass for just ten bucks. We hope to see you at one of those Golden Road Brewings. We have done it in Anaheim. We've done it in Los Angeles, right there off the 134 and 5 intersection, and hopefully we'll be doing it again in the very near future. Big thank you to Tim Cates, our producer. I'll have Morongo Casino Dodgers on deck in just a moment, right after our little pregame dalliance. Ronnie Fascio at Ronnie Fascio on Twitter, our engineer. And, of course, the people here putting in the big work digitally, Social Matthew, one of our favorite people from Orange County, straight out of Irvine, and Wacko. From the FM dial, no longer formerly known as Vincent. Now he's Wacko. Wacko. Well, uh, he's an FM. Yeah, so he got to have a thing. Why I have a stupid name? Yeah. Hey, you're on an FM morning show. You have to have a nickname. I do. Yeah. Oh, well, lucky me. How's that going to go over in 20 years? So just think about that, Wacko. Well, you're living just it. Saying. You're living it. I guess. Voice of the Chargers. Mm. At Matt Money Smith. How'd you get the name Money? FM Radio. Woo! Just, honk, honk. Just ask Wacko! Wacko! Uh, Dave Weiss, the great Brian Blackmore, and Don Martin, our boss. We love connecting with people. We hope we can get out and about with people very soon. We anticipate only one more virtual tour. But whatever we can do to connect, we will do it. And I think this was a good one as well. A big thank you to Oral, like Matt said. But it's time for the City of Hope. Let's do it. Let's, Let's go. go. Batter up. 
We're taking the afternoon off at City of Hope Physicians and Researchers relentlessly working together to turn powerful science into life-saving new cancer treatments. Learn more at cityofhope.org. Matt, the Dodgers are fresh off that sweep of the Buckos. We were part of it. They take on the Angel. Edit. Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight. We stop and look at each other. Uh, Can't edit this, bitch. Nope. Dodgers take on the Rangers tonight, and they did sweep those Bacos. They I did. Mean, come on, at least well, give it me was that. an eight-inning contest. You know what? Everybody's thrown off a little bit of 9.30 Edit. start. David Basse didn't get rolling until 3 p.m., or all the way until 3 p.m. he was rolling because of that rain out. But Julio Urias yesterday Edit. not only went seven innings, but he also managed a clunk two RBI. That's about right. That? He's a baseball player. That's why, Matt. You know, when he's got a bat in his hand, he's a baseball player. I heard Vasse say that during that prodigious fill. He's not a pitcher. Yesterday. He's a baseball player. And that's what Kershaw is. He's a, but he's a bat in his head when he's running the bases. He's a, that's why I'm against the DH. He's a baseball. Dodgers end up 4-2 and two on the roadie. They return home for six-game homestand. First up, as you mentioned, the Texas Rangers. And it <laughs> Rangers are in last place in the AL West. They have lost three or four. What a perfect time for the Dodgers to get the Rangers. Use take two. <laughs> they have lost 12 of their last 14. And that worked out with the Buccos. Sure did. You know, they they exactly. had been losing. Took advantage of that. So we don't seem as stupid as we did when Got we said sweet. We said it about the uh, Padres, said it about the Cubs, guess we said who's about on the, the Reds. Guess who's on the mound? Yeah. Game starts at 7-10. My Everybody God. knows that. Oh, yeah. Love this game. Clayton Kershaw's on the mound. The Rangers, like Matt said, have been struggling, and they're taking on Mike Fulton Evitz for the Texas squad. He's one and six with like a five point four point seven five ERA. It's a freaking balloon. Ah, is that an ERA or a freaking balloon? That's all on Dodgers on deck. Next with Tim Cates again. Thank you to all who watched, to all who commented, to all who shared. Our YouTube and our Facebook feeds. If anybody missed it, remember, you can always relive it in its entirety, including all the breaks, all the winners, all the commercials where we were cussing and flipping off the when, camera when you and stuff, watched, man. When you watched last week's, Matt, you watched it yourself on YouTube, it stoned you to your soul. Sure did. It stoned you just like Jelly Rolls, and it stoned you. Seeing Don Martin put together that windmill, all the excitement on his face. Look, still Look looks great. Still working. It's our Ark of the Covenant. My man, did you not know I was a handyman for the first 30 years of my life? Leads us into battle. Here we go. And now we lead ourselves out of our battlefield of choice. The studio. Because Tim Cates <laughs> is coming up next. With the- From the AM570 LA Sports Studios in Burbank. This is Petros and Money.